911, what's your emergency? Viewer discretion is advised. What a ride it's been. 200 episodes and over 4,000 Teslacam clips. We took a look at the data, found all the clips you like the most, and put them together into this mega episode featuring the most viewed videos we've ever published. Buckle up. John was driving his Model 3 in Falls Church, Virginia, just outside of DC, when a Ford driver in front of him slammed on the brakes. John managed to react in time, but the Honda behind him wasn't so skilled. The force of the impact pushed John's Tesla into the Ford, sandwiching him between the two vehicles. Hashtag Honda Bump. Before we continue, take a look at this freeze frame. That's a pretty crappy business slogan. An insurance claim was filed and police were notified. The Honda driver took full responsibility. John got a repair estimate the day after the incident for 3,000 US dollars. But one day later, the body shop contacted him with a new estimate of 7,000 US dollars. The next day, he got yet another estimate for 20,000 US dollars. The fourth day after the accident, they contacted him again to let him know the estimate now totaled 24,000 US dollars. At that point, the vehicle was considered a total loss. We speculate that the chassis must have been bent because from the outside, the damage doesn't look that bad. What's your theory? Share it in the comments. Jawad is a frequent Wham Bam submitter, but he never thought he would be sending us a video of a large accident. He lives in Shanghai, and he privately imported a Model 3 before Tesla opened its Chinese factory and sales locations. Here we see his wife driving their Model 3 to work. When she entered a tunnel, she had to slow down because traffic was getting heavier. Eventually, the traffic came to a full stop. Unfortunately, the taxi driver behind her didn't slow down at all and rear-ended the Tesla without even applying the brakes. The force of the impact pushed the Tesla into another stop taxi in front of it. Both taxis were carrying passengers, but thankfully, everyone involved was okay. The impact of the crash was so hard that the taxi got stuck in the bodywork of the Tesla. The police and the tow truck driver asked Jawad's wife to drive the car forward in an attempt to get them unstuck. But the taxi remained stuck even after several attempts to get it out. Since they were in a heavily trafficked tunnel, the police instructed her to drive the Tesla, with the taxi dragging behind it, out of the tunnel. She managed to pull the taxi out of the tunnel, parking on the first street just outside of it. Of course, this attracted quite the crowd. Jawad's wife said that the passers-by kept calling the Tesla a transformer because it didn't appear to have much damage. <laughs> The taxi driver who rear-ended the Tesla told everyone that he had changed lanes and didn't have enough time to stop. Jawad's wife and this Tesla Cam video prove that's not what happened. The next day, after reviewing the Tesla Cam footage, the police called the taxi driver down to the police station. That's when he changed his story, stating that when he entered the tunnel, it was so dark he couldn't see clearly. When they pulled the taxi with the tow truck to separate it from the Tesla, this broke the rear bumper. It was visible that the Tesla's rear shock absorbing beam only had minor damage. The taxi driver's insurance coverage will pay for the repairs to the Tesla. His own taxi was totaled and the taxi in front of the Tesla only had some minor damage to its rear bumper cover. At first, they promised Jawad they'd get the Tesla fixed within two weeks. But because his Model 3 was imported, they've since told him that they can't use any repair parts from the Shanghai factory. His parts have to be shipped from the US factory. The cost estimate for the repairs is around 10,000 US dollars. 
Dennis was driving his Model 3 in Livermore, California. He's participating in the full self-driving beta, and this will be the first FSD beta crash we've ever shown on our channel. Autopilot was waiting at a red light to make a left turn. When the light turned green, Autopilot paused for a moment before proceeding into the intersection. That's when Dennis saw something in his peripheral vision just before feeling a heavy impact. A Honda truck had run the red light and hit the side of the Tesla. The airbags deployed and Dennis escaped with nothing more than a sore body for which he's very thankful to his Tesla. Dennis was able to show the Tesla cam video to both the other driver and the police right there at the scene of the accident. The footage clearly shows that Dennis's light had been green for about six seconds and that the other driver had run a red light. Interestingly, Autopilot appeared to stop the car right before the impact. Otherwise, the Honda would have hit the Tesla's driver's side door directly instead of the fender. This might have spared Dennis from more serious injuries. An insurance claim has been filed and the other driver's insurance has assumed full responsibility. The Tesla was totaled and Dennis will be ordering a Model Y once the insurance provider pays out. Dennis has been a fan of Wham Bam Tesla Camp for a while, but he wishes he could have continued being a viewer instead of becoming a contributor. And of course, it had to be a Honda bump. Wes Johnston is a frequent submitter to this channel and has been sending us videos since the beginning. A couple of months ago, he reached out and asked us to spread the word of this woman who stabbed his mother Sherry's brand new Model Y with a knife. Two days after the video was posted, the woman was found. And while Wes and his family waited for a court date, the police asked us to pull the video from YouTube since, according to them, it could have hindered the investigation. Now they're back from court, the case is settled, and we have even more information on what happened and why. But first, let's take it from the beginning. This actually all started the day before the act of vandalism, which happened in Sumter, South Carolina. Sherry's Model Y was brand new. They hadn't even put permanent license plates on it yet. This woman got upset because Sherry had parked in her spot. However, as the judge told her in court, there are no reserved parking spots in a public parking lot. In the video, we can see that she tried to park as close to the Tesla as she could, which was her first act of aggression. The next day, Sherry drove her Model Y to work at 7 a.m. Watch what happened about 30 minutes later. If we slow the footage down, we can see that this woman had the knife ready in her hand above her purse. She then went ahead and dragged the knife along the side of the Tesla's door. Sherry parked far away from all other cars to prevent door dings, and this vicious individual went out of her way to damage the car. Wes and Sherry noticed while reviewing the sentry mode footage that the offender arrived 30 minutes after the car was parked and sat in her car in the parking lot for about five minutes before the attack. So it definitely seems like she spent some time planning it out. Another angle shows that she then entered the back door of a nearby business to drop off some items. Then she returned to her car and drove away. Wes never imagined they would get such useful footage from all four of the sentry mode cameras. Sherry contacted the police and provided the footage which clearly showed the criminal's license plate number. The police arrested the vandal at her place of employment a few days later. She admitted to knifing the Tesla after being told about the video evidence. The woman chose to avoid getting a criminal record by settling out of court and agreeing to pay for the damages. She showed no remorse and was still angry about the Tesla taking her parking spot. If the case hadn't been settled out of court, she would have had to pay a $2,000 fine and Sherry would have had to sue her in a separate civil action to receive compensation. West suggests as a tip to other Tesla owners who might find themselves in a similar situation, don't format the drive and be sure to save the videos from all four cameras before and after the event. In this case, the other camera angles helped track down where the woman worked, leading to her arrest. 
Austin had lent his Model 3 to his friend Missy, who was driving it on the highway in Columbia, South Carolina. Traffic suddenly came to a complete stop, and Autopilot immediately activated the automatic emergency braking and sounded the forward collision warning. Up ahead, cars were swerving all over the road trying to stop in time. The driver of a Jeep even headed out into a field in order to avoid an accident. Unfortunately, a driver behind Missy wasn't paying attention and evidently didn't have any forward collision avoidance system. They rear-ended the pickup truck directly behind her at full speed. We searched news and public records for information about the accident, but nothing was reported, which hopefully means nobody was seriously injured. Seifo was driving his Model 3 home to San Jose, California after getting a haircut. That's when a lady hit the right side of his car while pulling out of her driveway. She decided to pull out even though her view had been blocked by cars parked on the street. Autopilot wasn't engaged, but Seifo says the initial swerve to the left was performed by the car anyway. He performed his own maneuver which caused him to hit the hedge on the left. The right front axle was broken and Seifo couldn't move the car out of the way. Everyone involved in the accident, including Seifo's passenger, was fine and nobody needed medical attention. Seifo did call 911 though since he couldn't move the car out of the way and they sent a tow truck. The other party accepted responsibility for the accident right away. The initial inspection was done by a Tesla certified repair shop. They stopped checking for more damage once the estimate reached over 35,000 US dollars. Tesla insurance deemed the car a total loss. Seifo told us it's been almost a month since the accident, but he's still waiting on Tesla insurance to write him a check. He thinks they're having trouble figuring out how much they should give him. Seifo wanted to shout out his barber Zaza, who works at the Burlingame Barbershop for giving him the most expensive haircut he's ever had. But he'd do it again, even if he had to ride his bike all the way there. Mike had parked his Model 3 outside his office in Salem, Oregon, when a car pulled up next to his. A thief, notably with his pants pulled all the way up, exited the vehicle. Using a rock, the thief smashed out a rear window. With the alarm going off, he only had a second to grab a couple of small boxes before quickly driving away. Fortunately, the boxes were empty, but this is a good reminder to not leave things in your car that a thief might find attractive. Mike filed a police report and included the camera footage which had captured the thief's license plate and face. They were able to find and arrest him within hours of the incident. The police officer Mike spoke to had never seen Tesla's sentry mode footage before, and he confirmed that they never would have found and arrested the offender without it. Total repair costs for the window and door actuator came to about 600 US dollars. The massive accident made news headlines, and now we get to show you the Tesla cam footage. Unfortunately, there is some dirt on the front camera, but we can see him braking for the opal in front of him. As he moves to the leftmost lane, the dog appears in the middle of the lane. That was when he felt the impact. From the rear view camera, we can see that the other drivers slowed down significantly, all except for one which hit the opal in the middle lane at full speed. The resulting fire was quickly put out and news reports stated that the fire only caused minor smoke damage to the cabin. We're not sure if that really matters in determining if these cars can be salvaged or if they're totaled. Thankfully, the frightened dog was taken to a shelter by some good Samaritans. Robbie was driving his Model 3 westbound on Highway 4 in Concord, California. Traffic came to a complete stop and so did Robbie, but the car behind him didn't. 
Robbie's Tesla was rear-ended, causing it to spin around. He hit the Hyundai in front of him and the Prius to his left before he rolled into the barrier. The driver of the Dodge didn't see the traffic had stopped until he was just a car's length away from Robbie. That's when the driver locked up his brakes before hitting Robbie at full speed. Incredibly, everyone involved was able to walk away from the accident. Unfortunately, Robbie had to be taken to the hospital by ambulance for some of his injuries. He was able to show the police his Tesla cam video while waiting for the ambulance to arrive. Robbie is now dealing with his insurance claim and his car has been deemed a total loss. Once everything is settled, he'll be ordering a new Tesla since, according to him, his Model 3 saved his life. People were walking around the parking lot and shopping, but the first sign of trouble was rain starting to pick up. Next, the electricity went out and seconds later, the wind picked up. The wind got so strong that small objects started flying around in the parking lot. Eventually, bigger and bigger objects were being picked up and carried around the lot. Look at this guy rushing to his car for safety. Luckily, he managed to get inside just as a tornado touched down. The tornado was so strong that it was moving cars in the parking lot and objects were flying everywhere. Bam, bam. You like a hurricane. Are you ready, man? Tesla Cam. I hope you were satisfied. The tornado that tore through Barry that day left a path of destruction over three miles long and up to 300 feet wide. The Canadian Federal Weather Agency rated the tornado EF2, with wind speeds reaching up to 130 miles per hour. The city of Barrie said that 10 people were hospitalized, but miraculously, none of them suffered life-threatening injuries. When Ben sent us the video, he hadn't yet reached out to his insurance provider since there were so many other things in the community that needed to be fixed, but it's next on his to-do list. Debris struck basically all over the car, leaving plenty of scratches and dents. Even the rims were damaged. Ben is confident the insurance claim process will go smoothly. Hunter had parked his Model 3 on the very same street as in the last incident, in front of his colleague's Hyundai. That's when a distracted driver drifted for over six seconds before slamming into the Hyundai without even trying to slow down. This pushed the Hyundai into the Tesla. Some firefighters were right behind the offender and witnessed the whole thing. Only about a month earlier, Hunter had promised the fire department that he would show them the Tesla battery cutoff procedure since he was one of the first in his town to own a Tesla. This wasn't exactly the situation he had in mind. Fortunately, the Tesla was repairable at a cost of 20,000 Australian dollars since the offending driver had comprehensive insurance. It had to be shipped 1,500 kilometers to a repair center in Adelaide, South Australia, and it's expected to take eight to 12 weeks to repair. Unfortunately, the Hyundai was totaled as its damages were estimated at over 17,000 Australian dollars, more than the value of the vehicle. The offending driver claimed that the accident was caused by a mechanical failure. However, after the police reviewed the Tesla footage and surrounding street cam footage, it was determined that the accident was caused by the driver being distracted by her phone. In this enhanced still image taken from the rear view camera, we can actually see her holding the phone in her hand above the steering wheel. Hunter adds that he wants to see the availability of parts and service from Tesla improve as Elon has promised. The main reason his repairs will take so long is because of how long the replacement parts will take to arrive from Tesla. He'd also like to see more charging infrastructure in Australia, as the number of Teslas in Australia is now 10 times what it was when he purchased his Model 3 only a year ago. Chris was driving his Model 3 in Atlanta, Georgia when he slowed down as a traffic light turned yellow. A BMW didn't even come close to making the light and instead it hit the right rear section of a car making a right turn before ricocheting into a Mustang. Chris stayed at the scene and gave his contact info and the Tesla cam video to law enforcement, who instantly determined that the BMW driver was at fault. 
let's stay in the not so wintry California for a while with this December video from Kevin, who had parked his Model S in Long Beach when Sentry Mode captured this event. Kevin says that all he could do was laugh when he watched this on the Sentry Mode player. He actually remembers passing these guys walking while he was returning to his car. It looks like he's taking out his wallet and putting cash on the car's frunk, and he seems to have plenty of money to spare. We're not sure what else he might be pulling out though. One thing's for sure, these guys will definitely be asking Santa for a Tesla. Richard was driving his Tesla Model S in Atlanta, Georgia. Autopilot was engaged and maneuvered the car into the right lane to take an exit. As he passed a semi-truck, a car two lanes over started changing lanes to take the same exit. This resulted in the car nearly sideswiping Richard's Tesla. Autopilot tried to make enough room to avoid an accident, but the other driver overcorrected and lost control. They ended up performing a pit maneuver on the Tesla as they both drove down the highway. Richard's Model S spun around over all the lanes. Luckily, it wasn't hit by any other cars or trucks. No airbags were deployed, and even without the rear left tire touching the road, Richard was able to regain control and maneuver to safety. Even though the state of Georgia requires drivers to carry insurance, the other driver was uninsured. Instead, Richard's long process of sorting out a claim with his own insurance provider has begun. This video was sent in from a Model X owner in Japan. Can you think of a Japanese car brand infamous for making cars that bump into other cars? That's right, here we can see a Honda approaching. Get ready for some bumping action. The Honda merged without indicating over a solid line and crashed into the Tesla, which swerved onto the curb to avoid a worse accident. Luckily, only the Honda's mirror hit the Tesla, and by the looks of it, the woman driving the Honda is waving her hands as if to say, hashtag Honda bump. Yvonne and his friend were on their way to the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles, California to check out the Tesla Roadster on display there. That's when a silver Lexus merged in front of them. Yvonne had autopilot set to 70 miles per hour. When the Lexus merged, the driver clearly accelerated at moving faster than the Tesla's constant speed. Traffic slowed down up ahead, but the Lexus didn't. It doesn't look like the driver even hit the brakes until just before he slammed into a black Kia. Autopilot didn't react or give any warnings, so Yvonne took over and applied the brakes. He doesn't think Autopilot had a chance to react, as the accident was too far in the distance. Everyone involved was shaken up, but miraculously, nobody was hurt. The freeway service patrol arrived minutes later. Yvonne and his friend believed that the Lexus driver was distracted, but he wouldn't admit to it. Instead, he kept repeating that he was using cruise control, which might be true, but he clearly didn't brake. While at work, Jesse got a notification on his phone that the alarm on his Model 3 had been activated. He rushed out of the meeting he was attending, but when he finally got to the garage, he found his car all smashed up, along with two witnesses who had seen the whole thing. Let's take a look at the Sentry Mode footage. A guy in a Mustang was stunt driving in the parking lot when he lost control, hitting the rear bumper of the Tesla. That's when the first witness passed by the scene with a dash cam running, capturing a view of the need for speed guy as he got out to check the damage to his Mustang. Sentry Mode also caught this at an even better angle. Both his license plate and face were visible from the left repeater camera. After checking the damage to his own car, he got back in and took off. That's when the second witness caught him leaving the scene and recorded this video using his phone. A hit and run report was filed and, due to the sentry mode footage of his face and license plates, he was found by the police and charged for both the accident and for fleeing the scene. JJ Cola was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged when out of nowhere this happened. 
He says this is the first time he's ever been attacked by a grill while driving. Maybe this is the newest version of rolling coal on Teslas? He tried to keep his distance and not touch anything due to the pandemic, but he really wanted to help, so he got right to it. Here, JJ Cola signals to his sister to use Summon to bring the car closer. Joseph was driving his Model Y in Austin, Texas, when traffic stopped fairly quickly for a dog in the road. Joseph came to a complete stop, and when he noticed a pickup coming up behind him, he moved up a bit to give it some more room. Both vehicles managed to stop completely, but the Texas Disposal Service garbage truck didn't. It plowed into the pickup truck, which was then pushed into Joseph's Tesla. Clearly, the driver hadn't been paying attention as he crashed into them at full speed. Thankfully, nobody was in the oncoming lane at the time or else they would have collided head on with the garbage truck. There were no serious injuries and everyone involved walked away. Joseph's two 75 pound pyre doodles were in the back of his Model Y and they'd been thrown against the back of the driver's seat. They were quite shaken up, but they felt better after Joseph let them out to walk around. There were no passengers in the pickup truck, but the driver was transporting two vintage mopeds which had been damaged. The truck collapsed like an accordion thanks to the force of the impact, since the garbage truck driver said his truck was almost fully loaded. Obviously, all the fault lies with the garbage truck driver, and the pickup driver and Joseph weren't at fault. Joseph is now waiting to hear his repair estimate. Max was driving his Model 3 down the highway in Oak Grove, Kentucky. He was in the right lane using autopilot when he approached a semi-truck driving in the left lane. The truck had been riding in the left lane for a few miles, so Max decided to continue past him in the right lane. Just as he was passing, the truck driver changed lanes, clipping the back end of the Tesla. That caused the Model 3 to spin out in front of the semi. But the driver didn't notice and just kept driving, pushing Max along in front of him at 70 miles per hour. Autopilot warned Max just before the two vehicles made contact, but it was too late for him to avoid the accident. He also says Autopilot attempted to steer away from the truck, but the force of the semi pushing it was too much for the steering to fight back against. The semi pushed Max for approximately half a mile before the driver finally stopped, apparently because he felt that there was something wrong. He felt some resistance against his truck, but he never saw the Tesla. It wasn't until the truck completely stopped that the driver finally saw people jumping out from in front of him. When he opened his door, he saw the Tesla for the first time. Let this be a lesson. Blind spots are dangerous. Police were called to the scene and the Model 3 was towed to a body shop. The truck driver was found to be at fault and the repair estimate came to 20,000 US dollars. Repairs took two months to complete due to parts delays. Max had only owned his Tesla for a few weeks, so it has now spent more time in the shop than it spent being driven. He's looking forward to getting back behind the wheel. This video was sent in by I Don't Give a Frunk. Great username, by the way. And just wait for it. This Model 3 actually belongs to famous YouTuber Danny Duncan, who put this bullhorn on the frunk of his Tesla. The frunk is the front luggage compartment of the Tesla, a portmanteau of the words front trunk. Ruffy was driving his Model 3 in Mississauga, Canada. He entered an intersection on a green light and got T-boned by a car coming from the left. Both police and paramedics were called to the scene and the other driver was taken to a hospital but later released. Ruffy later found out the other driver was uninsured and his car had been totaled. The Tesla is currently in a body shop getting inspected to see if it can be repaired or if it's also totaled. This submitter was driving his Model 3 in Toronto, Canada when the driver of another Tesla in front of him crashed into a boat. Another vehicle that was pulling a boat on a trailer made a quick lane change into the lane where the Tesla was traveling. The Tesla drove up on two wheels before the trailer and the boat smashed into it. The driver of the boat behaved very erratically and kept yelling at the Tesla driver. Eventually, a transit officer showed up to de-escalate the situation. The submitter shared a copy of his Tesla cam footage with the other Tesla owner and they haven't heard anything else about the incident. 
Ross from Phoenix, Arizona sent us this video. He let his friend borrow his Model 3 while he was out of town. Watch what happened when his friend was stopped for a red light. Keep your eyes on this pickup truck. As the light turned green, Ross's friend hit the accelerator, but he didn't notice the truck running the red light. He hit the truck behind the passenger door and the truck ramped off the front of the Tesla and rolled onto its roof. Ross says he's surprised how quickly they were able to get out of the truck to yell at his friend. The police who showed up to the scene were impressed that they could see the playback of the accident right in the Tesla. They made sure to write the truck driver a few tickets before leaving. The truck driver filed an insurance claim first, claiming it was Ross's friend's fault, but the Tesla cam proved that the truck driver ran the red light. His insurance fully covered the $12,000 US dollar repair bill. It took a month to repair the Tesla. The damage to the front end was extensive. Check out these pictures of the damage. Ross had just gotten his Model 3 back when he sent us the video. He says it was a long month of waiting, but he's happy to be back behind the wheel. Barry was driving his Model 3 in Savannah, Georgia. He just exited I-95 and was slowing down for the traffic light up ahead. After stopping behind a Toyota RAV4, Barry suddenly felt a large impact. When he looked to his right, he saw the tires of a Honda crawling up the side of his Tesla. If we take a look at the right repeater camera, we can see the same bizarre sight that Barry saw. No airbags were deployed in the Tesla, but the car did go into accident mode. Barry got out and talked with the driver of the Honda. She was pretty rattled, but everyone involved was okay. They proceeded to inspect his car, and he mentioned to her that this was going to be a very expensive repair bill. He sent the Tesla cam videos to the police and his insurance company. The latter was quick to determine that the Tesla was a total loss. The cost to repair the damages was greater than the price of a new Model 3, so they cut Barry a check for 52,000 US dollars. Okay guys, here it comes, hashtag Honda bump. We actually get a lot of comments that the hashtag Honda bump joke is getting old, but it's not our fault that we get so many videos of Honda drivers causing accidents. We even ran a poll asking what you would be most afraid of to see in your rearview mirror. Even though the options included some truly scary cars, Honda won the poll in a landslide with 79% of over 19,000 votes. Ash was driving their Model 3 in Orange County, California. They just dropped off their mother at the airport and were on their way home. A white car turned onto the street just as Ash was passing, so Ash moved to the left a bit as the other driver crossed into their lane. This annoyed Ash since they were driving just under 45 miles per hour because of the car in front. So the white car was probably going at least 60 miles per hour when it sped into the intersection. As the white car sped through the intersection, a silver car on the other side of the road made an unprotected left turn. They must have misjudged the speed of the white car crashing into them. The white car got pushed into a tree by the impact. We can even see the leaves shake from the hit. The car then spun around before it finally stopped. Ash pulled over and when the police arrived, an officer sat in their car and watched the Tesla cam footage, filming it with his body cam. Francesco was driving his Model 3 on a highway in Italy. He just entered a tunnel when traffic slowed down for construction up ahead. As he was about to come to a stop, he felt a solid impact from behind. The driver of the Range Rover that had been following behind him hadn't noticed traffic slowing down and crashed into him at full speed. The Tesla was pushed forward into the car in front of it. That car then crashed into the car in front of it, turning this into a massive multi-vehicle accident. Luckily, everyone involved was able to walk away from the accident unharmed. The Italian Highway Patrol responded to the scene. While waiting for the tow truck to arrive, Francesco showed the officers his Tesla cam footage right on his Tesla's screen. The footage clearly showed them he wasn't responsible for hitting the car in front of him. He sent them a copy of the video, and they included some screenshots from it in their official report. The police station called later that day asking if he'd installed the cameras himself. 
They were enthusiastic to find out that there's standard equipment on all current Teslas. Thanks to the Tesla cam footage, Francesco was cleared of any fault in the accident. His Tesla has been repaired by an Italian Tesla authorized body shop and the repair bill was about 35,000 US dollars. Francesco says the body shop did an excellent job, but the car was stuck in the shop for almost five months waiting on replacement parts from Tesla. Now he's still dealing with the insurance claim process. Hamid was sitting at a traffic light when he witnessed a red light runner get T-boned and roll over. Hamid rushed over and helped the driver who was unharmed. When the police arrived, he showed them his Tesla cam video. They were very happy the Tesla had captured the incident and they recorded it right there on the screen. This clip comes from Josh Dooley. It happened on June 21st, 2019 in Oakland, California. At first, we see this gentleman walk past Josh's Tesla Model 3. Then he smashes a window of a parked car. And then a second car's window as well. He then walks up to Josh's car again. Here he's checking the car and looking in the window. Then he checks the surrounding area before coming back. Finally, he smashes the back side window, but then runs away thanks to the car's alarm system. Josh says that there was nothing of value in the car and that the thief didn't take anything. He reached out to the police, but never got a response. Adrian and his friends left Paris for a road trip to Germany in his one-month-old Model 3. It was a long drive, so they took turns behind the wheel. It was Adrian's friend's turn to drive the last leg before reaching the border of Germany. His friend who'd only gotten his driver's license a week earlier. As his friend was about to merge back onto the freeway after they'd switched drivers, he merged too quickly onto the freeway and crossed a solid white line. A Renault had no chance to avoid the Tesla and hit them at full speed. Luckily, everyone involved in the accident was unhurt. Adrian says the accident caused a three mile long traffic jam. The police came to investigate and Adrian's friend accepted 100% fault for causing the accident. The Renault was totaled in the crash and the Tesla is currently in the repair shop. Adrian says he's not sure how much the repairs will cost yet, but he's sure they'll be expensive. We hope they're still friends. Maybe Adrian should show him how to activate autopilot next time. Craig was waiting at a red light when vehicles started moving out of the way for a fire truck responding to an emergency. Guess what happened next? Of course, a Honda driver decided to engage Honda bump mode, striking a Toyota who was trying to get out of the way. Craig was almost involved as well, as the car behind him came close to striking him had he not moved forward to give him some room. This video was recorded in 2019 before the rear Tesla cam was enabled with the software update, so unfortunately we don't have that angle. He pulled over and loaded the videos on his iPhone. After the police spoke to the involved parties, they told Craig that they wished they had Tesla cam footage of all accidents. Craig never did find out who was ruled to be at fault. What do you think? Was it the Honda driver's fault for hitting the Toyota who was moving over for the fire truck? Or the Toyota driver who moved over the solid line without checking that it was clear? Jordan was driving his Model Y, or rather, the car was driving itself since Jordan is in the full self-driving beta. The Tesla merged to the left lane to overtake a Subaru Impreza, but that's when everything went wrong that could go wrong. All the Tesla's airbags deployed, keeping Jordan and his kids extremely safe. 
The collision pushed the car up on two wheels, but it did a great job absorbing the impact and not flipping over. Three police officers quickly arrived to the scene of the accident, but none of them could figure out what had happened. Everybody was blaming someone else. Jordan walked over to them with his USB drive, which they promptly plugged into a patrol car computer, and they were able to view the Tesla cam footage right there at the scene. Thanks to the video, they finally figured out that a pickup truck had merged onto the road and hit the Impreza. The Impreza then hit the Tesla, which spun out and hit the guardrail. If we watch closely, it looks like the SUV in front of the truck slowed down and the Subaru driver hit the brakes to let the SUV merge over. That's when the truck driver decided to overtake the SUV without checking for traffic. Here's where the story gets even more interesting. It turns out that the pickup driver pulled a U-turn and left the scene, making this a hit and run. The police told Jordan that he should show the video to the insurance providers since they'd likely also need help determining who is at fault. As a result, neither insurance company accepted liability for the accident since they're both blaming the pickup driver. Jordan and the Impreza driver had to file separate claims with their own insurance providers. Jordan has ongoing doctor visits and has also contacted his lawyers. They think he might be able to track down the pickup driver with the help of the police. His Tesla was deemed a total loss and he's currently negotiating with his insurance provider for compensation. They offered him a little over 83,000 US dollars for the car, but they only valued the FSD at 12,000. Since Tesla has raised the price for FSD since he initially purchased it, it now costs 15,000. Jordan wants them to pay him that much so he can order it for his new car without losing 3,000 bucks. Cue up the dramatic music, please. Jonathan lives in Burleson, Texas. There's an intersection near his house where these birds gather twice a year for about a month when the seasons change. They refer to it as the Birdmageddon. No one knows why they gather at this same intersection every year, but Jonathan has to pass this intersection every day to get home. We all know what it's like to get bird poop on our cars. It's something you wouldn't wish on your worst enemy. Jonathan says he has to clean about five bird turds off his car every time he goes home. Jonathan, you the real MVP. Ryan was driving his Model 3 to work in Kansas City, Missouri. A freezing rainstorm had hit the Kansas City metro area just before sunrise. Ryan could tell that the car behind him was traveling too quickly to stop. In an attempt to avoid hitting Ryan's Tesla, the other car tried to swerve onto the shoulder. Unfortunately, he crashed into the barrier instead. Ryan changed lanes in an attempt to give the Chrysler more room, but the Tesla continued to slide laterally on the ice as it fought to get traction. Another Chrysler behind him was also going too fast, and as the Tesla slid across two lanes, they had to swerve to avoid hitting Ryan. That's when he was hit by flying guardrail, losing control. He was finally able to get some traction and keep from sliding into the guardrail, but the guy behind him slid right on by. The other car bumped into the guardrail before spinning out in front of Ryan. It was quite the little dance show before things got serious again when he started sliding toward Ryan. Ryan talked to the driver of the car that almost slid into him. They were both pretty shaken up. It was too dangerous for Ryan to go back and check on the other drivers, so he never heard what happened to the first car. However, he does know that many other cars crashed into the guardrail that had flown into the road. He says it was a crazy accident. Jim was driving his Model 3 with the full self-driving beta activated. The Tesla was cruising along in the right lane when a semi-truck started overtaking him in the left lane. Suddenly, the truck started moving into Jim's lane, hitting the back end of the Tesla and essentially pit maneuvering him. Jim told us the Tesla made the post-impact spin save all by itself. He came to a complete stop just before entering opposing lanes, right in front of a sign informing him that he was going the wrong way. The trucker drove for a while before realizing he'd hit the Tesla. Afterward, he yelled at Jim for turning out in front of him. Jim and his wife both walked away unharmed. The Tesla was in the repair shop for nine months, but it also made a full recovery. 
According to Jim, getting the car repaired was a huge hassle. At what Tesla called their best shop in North Carolina, they vastly underquoted the damage by 11,000 US dollars, making working with the insurance company a nightmare. On top of that, he says Tesla messed up his vehicle's registration by registering his vanity plate to another Tesla he purchased as a replacement when he thought the first one would be totaled. He eventually begged Tesla leadership directly for help after the New York Times reached out to tell his story. We do have to admit, it is a great license plate. Mark had just taken delivery of his Model 3 and was heading to the service center for some small adjustments when a Ford proceeded to pull out in front of him. Mark took his foot off the juice pedal to slow down, and just as the car in the left lane passed him, he saw that the Ford wasn't staying in its lane, crossing into the left lane instead. The passing car clipped the front wheel of the SUV and flipped into the median. Luckily, everyone involved in the accident ended up being okay. Debris rained all over Mark's brand new Tesla, but fortunately, it didn't cause any damage. Mark pulled over to call 911, and the police used his Tesla cam footage as evidence in the accident report. Noah was driving his Model 3 on Highway 401 in Toronto, Canada. Just as he passed a semi-truck, he noticed a car spinning out up ahead. Both Noah and the semi-truck slowed down, but the driver of a Cadillac behind them misjudged the situation and tried to overtake the semi-truck, causing them to crash into Noah's Tesla. Noah says autopilot kicked in after the accident, helping him steer between the cars ahead of him, but it couldn't stop him in time and he still ended up hitting the red car that had initially spun out and caused everyone to stop. The red car then drove off, leaving Noah behind at the scene of the accident. The Cadillac driver told the police that he thought someone was going to hit him, so he would tried to avoid them, hitting Noah in the process. Unfortunately for them, the footage shows this wasn't the case. Noah was able to walk away from the crash, and he adds he's infinitely grateful to Elon Musk and Tesla's team for creating this car. This clip is from Roberto Capodici in Italy, who parked his Tesla Model 3 to go visit a friend at work. Roberto had parked his car on the side of the street in a designated parking spot with cars parked both in front of and behind his car. When Roberto came back 15 minutes later, he found that his car had been damaged and that a few people had stopped the driver who had hit his Tesla. Here you can see people running out of the office building. And here we see the truck driver checking on the damage. The truck was from Belarus and the trailer was licensed in Belgium, complicating the insurance claim. Roberto says it took almost a year to receive an insurance settlement. The accident happened in June of 2019 and as of July of 2020, almost all expenses have been covered except for Roberto's own time spent working on the claim. Aaron was driving his Model 3 on a highway in Pennsylvania when he was hit by a driver who was cruising seriously fast. Luckily, everyone walked away from the crash uninjured. The police were called and the other driver was found at fault because they'd been texting. Aaron has filed an insurance claim and his insurance agent told him that they'll likely declare the Tesla a total loss. Let's watch that one more time on Multicam. Well, bam, Tesla cam. Ooh, are you satisfied? Well, bam, this submitter was driving his Model 3 in Queensland, Australia. He slowed down for traffic, but the girl behind him was only paying attention to her phone. She rear-ended him at full speed. The submitter thinks she must have been driving around 80 kilometers per hour, about 50 miles per hour, since that was the posted speed limit in that area. And it doesn't look like she applied the brakes at all. The submitter saw her coming in his rearview mirror, and we can see he tried accelerating away before impact, but unfortunately, it wasn't enough. Thankfully, nobody involved was injured. Karanda had just taken delivery of her new 2021 Model 3 on December 31st of 2020. 
On January 27th of 2021, it was a rainy day when she was driving down San Jose Boulevard in the Mandarin neighborhood of Jacksonville, Florida. She'd come to a complete stop in the left turn lane at a red light when BAM! A Nissan ran into the back of her Model 3. Karanda thinks they were doing something else besides driving because it didn't seem like they even tried to stop. Immediately, she got out in the pouring rain to check on the other driver and to inspect the damage. The other driver backed up and signaled that he was okay, so Karanda went back to her car. That's when the Nissan driver sped off. Karanda contacted the police and gave them the video footage. Due to the rain, it was hard to make out the full license plate number, so the police said they couldn't do anything about it. The Tesla's bumper and trunk had to be fully replaced. She filed a claim with her insurance company and is waiting to hear the final cost. She hopes that maybe someone will recognize the car and can help her out. If you do have any helpful information, shoot us an email and we'll pass it along to her. This video is from Andrew Miller, who was driving his Model 3 in the New Mexico desert when this happened. The front left tire of the truck blew out and sent the truck off the road. If we slow it down, we can actually see the tire blow out. No one was hurt and Andrew proceeded on his way when he saw that the driver had safely stopped. Nadia was driving her Model 3 on the Newark Turnpike in New Jersey. All of a sudden, the Tesla gave her an accident warning chime and automatically applied the brakes. At first, she couldn't understand why. That's when the Hyundai in front of her started to reverse. In response, she laid on the horn until the car stopped. That's when she saw this Chrysler. The passenger of the Chrysler was halfway out of the car when it started rolling backward. He tried to close the door, but it hit the Hyundai and missed the Model 3 by inches. The passenger in the back seat dove out of the moving car to save himself since the door was stuck open. He would have been crushed if he hadn't. It turned out this whole thing was caused by a three vehicle accident that occurred in the traffic piling up ahead. Of course, it became a four car accident after the Chrysler rolled into the Hyundai. Trent was driving his Model Y on the highway outside of Apex, North Carolina one sunny day when he witnessed something he never thought he'd see. This looks like it's straight out of a video game. Up ahead we see a pickup truck swerving off the road and it almost looks like he's aiming for that big jump at highway speed. The pickup gets some major hang time before putting its suspension to the test when it comes crashing down. Everything turned out okay, but Trent is pretty sure the pickup driver was on his phone when this happened. Mario was waiting to turn left in an intersection when the light turned red. After making sure there was no oncoming traffic, he slowed down and took the turn. As he made the turn, another driver ran his red light and hit the front end of Mario's Model S. Luckily, nobody involved was injured. Mario estimates that the oncoming car was probably going about 40 miles per hour when it hit him head on. He's amazed and thankful that he was able to walk away from the accident. Mario's insurance provider told him that if not for the Tesla cam footage, he would have been considered at fault since he was turning and the other driver was going straight. His Tesla was totaled and his insurance provider found that the other driver was at fault. Mario is understandably grateful that he wasn't declared liable for the accident and he told his insurance rep, thank God for Tesla cam. John Furlong was driving his Model 3 when he approached this four-way intersection. Fortunately, the truck missed the driver's door, so the driver of the pickup was shaken but not seriously injured. John says the accident could have been a lot worse if the dump truck driver hadn't reacted so quickly. It's also lucky that the truck was empty at the time. Anupi was driving his Model 3 on a highway in Arlington, Texas when traffic was slowing down in the lane to his right. A Chevy driver tried to skip traffic by diving into Anupi's lane without looking. 
The Chevy sideswiped the Tesla, ripping a Tesla cam out of its housing. Check out that Terminator carnage. Wow, we've seen thousands of Tesla crashes on this channel, but I think this is the first time a camera has been ripped out. F in the chat for that Tesla cam. Aaron was using autopilot in his Model 3 down a tollway in Colorado when he approached this semi-truck going about 60 miles per hour in the right lane. Suddenly, the semi merged into Aaron's lane. When it hit Aaron's Tesla, the glass from the passenger side exploded throughout the cabin and all over Aaron. The impact sent Aaron off the road where he swerved to avoid the cable barrier. After yelling into his phone for a while, the truck driver came over to ask Aaron if his airbags had deployed. Aaron learned later that this was a question from the truck driver's insurance company, who was trying to determine whose fault the accident was. In the meantime, Aaron was stuck in the Tesla with the doors jammed shut. After first responders pried the doors open, Aaron was taken away in an ambulance. Aaron says that a year after the accident, he's doing a lot better, but not without a lot of challenges. Unfortunately, the Tesla was a total loss. We can see here the right camera hanging loose from the car, and it reminds us of something out of a Terminator movie. Terminate. Michael was driving his Model 3 in Chino, California. While exiting State Route 71, a big rig flipped over in front of him. Michael told us this happens all the time on the ramps at this exit. It's a rather sharp turn and the trucks usually come in way too fast from the off ramp if the traffic light is green. Luckily it wasn't in the left lane with a car on the right. That wouldn't have been a good story to tell. Some city construction workers rushed over to help the driver escape his overturned truck. The driver seems fine based on the footage captured by Michael's passenger side camera. NM was driving his Model Y south on US Route 101 in San Luis Obispo, California. Rain was pouring down and he was driving 5 miles per hour below the speed limit with autopilot disengaged. He knew that sudden acceleration or braking might cause the car to hydroplane so he was feathering the accelerator but he still lost control. The Tesla hydroplaned into oncoming lanes. Due to sheer luck, NM managed to miss nearly all of the northbound traffic but his luck finally ran out and he hit the rear axle of a big rig. His tires had around 16,000 miles on them. They were in good condition and not bald at all. NM says it was a miracle that he and his family were able to walk away from the accident considering the amount of damage to the car. The cabin experienced virtually no damage, but the frunk and the crumple zone absorbed nearly all of the impact. The California Highway Patrol, the emergency responders, and the tow truck driver were all quite surprised that they got out alive. He urges other Tesla drivers to drive slower in rainy conditions and disable regen braking if possible. The Tesla was deemed a total loss by his insurance provider. Nico's wife was driving their Model 3 at 70 miles per hour when all of a sudden she felt a large impact from behind. The driver of a Dodge Charger had veered out of his lane and clipped the back end of the Tesla at high speed. Nico's wife froze in shock when the impact occurred, releasing the steering wheel. The Tesla's emergency functions took over and kept the car steady before finally stopping. The other driver stopped about half a mile up the road, but he never came back to check on Nico's wife. He even told the Florida Highway Patrol trooper that Nico's wife had hit him. Unfortunately, she wasn't able to show the trooper her Tesla cam footage at the scene of the accident because the Tesla thought it was still in drive and wouldn't let her view the video on the screen. The trooper ticketed the driver of the Charger anyway, and the driver told Nico's wife that he'll see her in court to fight his ticket. Nico is looking forward to seeing the other guy's face when he reveals the Tesla cam video in the courtroom. The insurance company totaled their Tesla and paid them $15,000 more than the car was purchased for brand new a year ago. 
They've already placed an order for a new Tesla since Nico's wife refuses to drive anything else after this. She's fully confident that the Tesla saved her life by taking control after the crash. Nico asked us to shout out his business Brothers Gutters and says their Tesla was a great marketing vehicle. People loved to talk to him about his Tesla, so keep that in mind if you're deciding on a company car. Dan was sitting at a red light in Jacksonville, Florida. He'd only had his Model 3 for five months at this point, so he was still flooring the juice pedal at green lights, enjoying the smooth acceleration that an EV can provide. As Dan was preparing to blast off from pole position, a woman in a Buick Enclave pulled out from the line of cars behind him and took the spot next to him. When the light turned green, he took off. As soon as he hit the straightaway, he slammed the accelerator and enjoyed that wonderful EV torque. When he approached the next red light, the Buick merged in behind him. What he didn't know was that the woman had become offended and was now furious. Once they had come to a complete stop, she got out of her car and walked up to Dan. He didn't even notice her until she was right at his door spitting on the driver's side window. Dan's not sure what this Karen's issue was. After reviewing the clip several times, he can only assume that she must have planned to cut in front of him after the light, but she never used her turn signal or indicated in any way that this was the case. His other theory is that she might just be a Tesla hater who tries to spit on at least one Tesla per day. By the way, this took place in May of 2020, right in the middle of the strict lockdowns and mask mandates. Dan hates to think that maybe she was trying to get him sick. Bruce was driving his Model Y on autopilot in Nashville, Tennessee, when he found himself in the middle of a major accident on the highway. Conveniently, Bruce had his GoPro running behind his shoulder, which gives us a spectacular angle of the crash. But first, let's look at it from the beginning, narrated by Bruce's own words. <clears throat> from my work, after work, it, an incident happened on the interstate where there was a major car crash. We're talking Probably more than 15 vehicles were involved in this totally, and I was kind of right in the middle of all of it. The rain started pouring, and there was an accident up ahead, forcing the cars to come to a sudden stop. Autopilot engaged initial braking. The cars in the fast lane were driving too fast to be able to stop in time. This was the result. Bruce quickly took over from autopilot, and at the same time, another crash started piling up behind him. Accelerating, he avoided being hit from behind. He was very lucky to only be a witness in this mass accident and not actually involved. He pulled over to the side of the road, and from what he initially learned, there were no serious injuries, even though some people were transported out by ambulance. Bruce and many other drivers had dash cam footage of the accident that they offered to the first responders at the scene. Now let's have a look from the camera that was mounted inside his Tesla. We can see autopilot braking and Bruce taking the wheel and quickly pressing the save button for the dash cam footage. He had his cameras running because he was recording for his YouTube channel, All Things Tesla. Shout out to Bruce for sending us this incredible video. Go check out his YouTube channel. This submitter was driving his Model 3 late one night on a freeway in Los Angeles, California. This was the day after he saw our video titled The Worst Drivers in the World, in which we revealed that Dodge drivers were voted the second worst drivers in the world in a poll we ran. He couldn't have imagined what would happen next. The submitter was overtaking slower moving cars that were causing traffic. As he puts it, there was no reason for all this traffic so late at night. One of the cars he overtook was a Dodge Challenger, whose driver didn't like this and decided to speed up and try to catch up with him. As their speeds got higher, the Dodge driver tried to overtake the Tesla on the right when this happened. The Dodge rear-ended another car at very high speed and they both ended up smashing into the concrete barrier.
On the rear view camera, we can see that the Tesla and the Dodge both passed this SUV on either side, and the collision happened when they both tried to merge in front of it. The submitter says he noticed that the Dodge disappeared from his mirror, but it was only once he got home that he learned the true magnitude of the crash. We haven't found any news related to the accident, but we hope everyone's okay. We can't tell their exact speed from the footage, but we're sure this accident could have been avoided at a lower speed. Please be careful out there. Ang was on his way to his friend's house in Shenzhen, China. He wanted to pass a semi truck on his left, but was waiting for the right moment so he wouldn't get stuck in the semi's blind spot. As soon as he saw an opportunity to clear the semi truck, he accelerated. Suddenly, an on ramp appeared that he hadn't noticed before, and he was forced to slow down for cars merging onto the highway. He proceeded to get stuck right where he didn't want to be the semi truck's blind spot. A moment later, the semi hit his Model 3. The semi driver admitted fault, acknowledging that he hadn't noticed Yang in his blind spot, but he blamed that on the rain. In the video, we can see that the truck driver waited until the last moment to use his turn signal, which was way too late. If he'd used his signal sooner, Yang thinks this accident could have been avoided. The repair shop informed Yang that his left quarter panel couldn't be repaired and would have to be replaced. They'd have to order a new part from the Shanghai factory, but it's been shut down due to the recent pandemic outbreak in Shanghai. Now, he'll have to wait a couple of months to get a new quarter panel. Total repair costs came to 4,500 US dollars. Always use your turn signal and use it before changing lanes, not during the lane change. Here we see Curtis and his wife driving to dinner in their Model 3 performance in San Antonio, Texas. As they approached an intersection, the driver of a Mazda 5 made an illegal turn. When the car finally stops, we can actually see the hanging no left turn sign. The Mazda driver took full responsibility at the scene. Police and emergency services were called and nobody was taken to the hospital, but there were several people with minor injuries like cuts and bruises. The Model 3 was a total loss. Curtis got all of the money back for the car, plus all the extra features he'd paid for including full self-driving, over 70,000 US dollars in total. Curtis and his wife used the money to order another Model 3 performance for him and a Model Y performance for her. After going through such a bad accident, Curtis trusts Tesla more than ever with the safety of his family. All the airbags deployed, but Curtis told us he felt safe the entire time, even as his car was spun around. The Mazda hit the driver's door, where he was sitting, nearly dead center, and he firmly believes the amazing collision safety of the Model 3 kept him out of the hospital. Alex was driving his Model Y in Miami, Florida when he hydroplaned before wrecking on the highway. Alex thinks the water flying off the tires of the truck in the next lane caused his car to spin out. Luckily, he wasn't injured in the crash. Alex called the police three times within an hour, and it took a trooper a little over an hour to arrive. Two troopers actually passed on the opposite side of the highway a few seconds after the crash, but they didn't report the accident or stop to help. Alex doesn't have a repair bill yet since the insurance company is still working on an estimate with a repair shop. The Chevy pickup truck next to him stopped properly for the light, but the Honda CRV behind him barely slowed down before rear-ending the pickup. The impact pushed the Chevy into the concrete median barrier and then into another Honda CRV right in front of it. Ladies and gentlemen, our very first double hashtag Honda bump. It wasn't until Stan reviewed the footage after he got home that he noticed how close the debris from the crash came to hitting his car. He sent the video to the local police department. They thanked him for the video, but he didn't get a follow-up. We hope everyone involved is okay. David's wife was driving their Model 3 westbound on I-10 when they saw a car suddenly break and swerve into a semi-truck's lane for no apparent reason. They stopped and David ran to the semi first, which was wedged into the trees on all sides. The engine had been thrown a good distance into the woods. He couldn't get to the cab because of how it was jammed into the trees. Thankfully, some professional landscapers pulled over to help, and they used their chainsaw to cut a path to the cab. 
The driver was conscious and able to talk, but was pinned into the cab and David had no way to get her out. There was also a passenger in the back that he couldn't see. They were able to get them to tap on the inside of the cab to confirm they were alive and conscious. The driver of the car was bloodied, dazed, and shaken up, but alive and able to talk. There were no other passengers in the car. David says it felt like it took forever before first responders arrived, but in reality, he thinks it was only about 10 minutes. He saw firemen carrying the jaws of life to the remains of the truck cab. After providing the dash cam video to the police, they decided to get out of there and let the professionals do their jobs. A woman coming over the hill didn't notice the light and smashed into Jay's Tesla at about 70 miles per hour. Jay says that Autopilot did alert him before the impact, but there was nothing he or Autopilot could do to prevent it. The vehicles rolled a short distance after the impact before coming to a complete stop again. Even though none of the Tesla's airbags went off, both Jay and his passenger were all right. Jay jumped out to help the woman out of her car when he noticed she was trapped in her vehicle's airbags. She was okay, and with his help, she managed to get out of her car. The Tesla was leaking an unknown fluid, and the vehicle went into emergency mode, which ended with it shutting down. Tesla called Jay's phone two minutes later, but at the time, he was busy talking to the woman and the police. Both cars were completely totaled and had to be hauled away on tow trucks. Even though they both were customers of the same insurance company, there was a battle of almost two months before the company paid out. Jay's insurance agent told him that having the video as evidence that he was completely stopped was very helpful for his claim. He had a stealth Model 3 performance, and unfortunately the insurance company didn't know how to value it correctly. The entire car ended up being replaced, but not until Jay fought for them to replace his full paint protection car wrap which took about two months to approve. Alex was driving his Model Y on a freeway in Los Angeles, California, when a BMW X5 dove out in front of him. The driver of the BMW lost control, spun out and crashed into the car in front of Alex. The BMW then took off, turning the accident into a hit and run. After stopping, Alex called 911 and the California Highway Patrol was quick to respond to the scene of the accident. After viewing Alex's Tesla cam footage, the CHP saw that the BMW driver had waited too long to merge, finally just going for it. At least he'd used his turn signal. Thanks to Tesla cam, the BMW driver was caught and charged with felony hit and run. The victim was very grateful for Alex's footage. The CHP later informed Alex that the victim had made a full recovery. Thank God for Tesla cam. This clip was sent in by an airline pilot who had just finished his shift and was driving home from the Los Angeles airport on a Friday night. The driver of the Nissan in front of him dove for an exit a little too late, hit a barrier, and flew into the side of the submitter's Model 3. The 23-year-old female driver of the Nissan claimed in her statement that she was driving home from a bar, but she assured the California Highway Patrol that she'd only had two beers. Her disabled vehicle caused a pileup behind them involving several other vehicles, including a motorcycle. In her statement, she lied about what had happened, having no idea that the incident had been captured on video or even that she'd hit the Tesla at all. After the CHP reviewed the Tesla cam footage, she was immediately arrested for felony DUI and eventually pled guilty. Amazingly, the submitter was unhurt, but others weren't so lucky. The Tesla was deemed a total loss, and it took 10 weeks for the submitter to get a replacement. He thinks the B-pillar probably saved his life, and he has no idea how he didn't lose control of the car. Despite accepting liability, the Nissan driver's insurance company, Geico, still hasn't offered settlements to any of those involved, and it's been almost a year since the accident. George was driving from Redondo Beach, California to Snow Valley Mountain to go skiing with his daughters Adele and Sophie. That's when a car on the other side of the freeway lost control and hit the center divider head on. 
the barrier did its job and kept the car from flying into oncoming lanes, but pieces of the car flew across and landed next to the Tesla. George said there was no time to react and everything happened so fast, his only option was to drive through the storm of sparks and debris. George's daughter Adele said, Papa, this accident will definitely make it on Wham Bam Tesla Cam. He says he doesn't remember it being so dramatic, but when they got home and watched the video, his jaw absolutely dropped. It really made them realize how precious life is and how it could be taken away in a split second. Then they prayed that whoever had been in the accident was safe. It was definitely a close call. We searched the news, but we couldn't find any mention of the accident, which hopefully means there were no serious injuries. Mitch Bauer was approaching a red light in his Tesla when he witnessed this accident. A white Toyota Highlander clipped the front of a car that was attempting to run the red light and flipped over. This is a great example of why you should never run a red light. Tony's wife was in Target getting groceries in Auburn Hills, Michigan when this man decided to key their Model X for no apparent reason. Tony posted this video in a local Facebook group and the man was identified within two hours. Tony filed a police report including the vandal's name and the information of several people willing to identify him for the police. Even the criminal's co-workers were willing to identify him. The man eventually turned himself in and Tony is pressing charges for malicious destruction of property over 1,000 US dollars, which is a felony in Michigan. This Model 3 owner was stopped at a red light in Kennesaw, Georgia when a Dodge Charger attempted to make a U-turn. In the process, he hit a white Toyota. Instead of hitting the brakes to stop, the driver of the Dodge accidentally pressed the gas pedal and continued driving, striking the Tesla on the driver's side. Police were contacted and the Tesla cam footage was used to prove that the driver of the Dodge Charger was at fault. Unfortunately, Tesla doesn't have any body shops in this part of the United States authorized to repair this level of damage. Even though there is a Tesla repair center right up the street from where the submitter lives, they had to go through a third party body repair shop. The submitter says they're a little concerned about the body shop's ability to diagnose whether or not the battery is damaged. They had only owned the Model 3 for a month when this happened. Their previous car was 20 years old and they'd never been in a wreck before. Ben was driving his Model Y in Lawrenceville, Georgia. He was sitting at a red light and when the light turned green, Autopilot followed the other traffic. But once he got to the middle of the intersection, Autopilot slammed on the brakes just as a Volvo came flying through the intersection, T-boning a pickup truck to Ben's left. Left. Ben is confident that if Autopilot hadn't stopped the car, he would have ended up hitting the Volvo. Ben stopped to make sure everyone was okay before calling the police. He made the Tesla cam video available to all parties involved. This lady thought she had put her car in park, but she must have left it in neutral instead. When the car in front of her left, her car started rolling towards Steve's parked Model Y. Let's cue up the dramatic music and tell the Honda to release the car. Steve filed an insurance claim and adds that he's hoping it doesn't take two months to get it repaired. Always remember to belt in your puppy. Alan says he's always had full confidence in autopilot. At least he did until this happened. He was stuck in stop and go traffic, so he'd set his follow distance to the closest setting. But then traffic cleared up and his Tesla had sped up to 55 miles per hour in a 65 mile per hour zone. This is when traffic suddenly piled up and a Honda stopped too quickly for autopilot to react in time.
Allen took over at the last second, but he wasn't able to avoid a collision. Tesla drivers can set a follow distance from 1 to 7, a setting which determines how much distance you want to maintain between your Tesla and the vehicle ahead of you. Each setting corresponds to a time-based distance that represents how long it takes for the Tesla, from its current location, to reach the location of the rear bumper of the vehicle ahead of you. Allen told us he has since set his follow distance to the maximum setting of 7. The highway patrol arrived and everyone involved in the accident was unharmed. An insurance claim was filed at the scene and the initial estimate to repair Allen's Tesla was 7,000 US dollars, but the total cost ended up being 25,000 US dollars and repairs took four months to complete. While Kayoni was driving to his sister's house in Maricopa, Arizona, he approached a newly installed traffic signal that was on its second day of operation. Kayoni started slowing down for the traffic in front of him and so did the motorcyclist to his right. However, the driver of a red Hyundai behind them didn't notice traffic slowing down and slammed into the back of Kayoni's Tesla. Luckily, the motorcyclist hit the throttle and managed to escape the impact, driving through a hail of car parts that sprayed all over the road. Incredibly, a police officer was right behind them and saw the whole thing. The driver of the Hyundai admitted to the police that he'd looked down at his phone. By the time he looked up, it was too late. He ended up hitting the passenger corner of the Tesla, spinning it around. The rear wheel was completely ripped off the car, and we can even see the ground through the inside of the trunk. This Model 3 was brand new, with only just over 1,500 miles on it. In the end, it was totaled due to the extensive damage. Kayoni says the Hyundai driver was very nice and very apologetic during the whole situation. The officer didn't even ask to see the Tesla cam video because Kayoni's description of the accident matched the other driver's version. Unfortunately, Kayoni hurt his back pretty badly and is currently undergoing physical therapy. Camille was sitting at a red light in Manor, Texas when a Prius ran a red light, hitting a Honda and bumping it into his Model 3. It was quite the crash, with the Honda getting some hang time, but incredibly, nobody was hurt in the accident. Camille was able to drive away with only a damaged front bumper cover, hood, and a crack in his glass roof. But his story doesn't end there. Andrew was driving his Model 3 in Los Angeles, California, when traffic backed up on US Route 101. He stopped, the car behind him almost stopped, but the car behind them hit them both at highway speed. Miraculously, everyone involved in this accident walked away. Andrew had no idea how serious the crash was until the next day when he saw this video. His jaw absolutely hit the floor when he reviewed it. Andrew told us that Autopilot detected the collision and automatically steered around the vehicle in front of him. The Tesla missed the car by inches and probably saved them from injury and definitely saved them from insurance nightmares. The driver that had caused the accident paid for everything, including the medical bills of everyone involved. Andrew's Tesla was in the shop for four and a half months, but it's now back on the road. The other two cars were totaled. Vince was driving his Model 3 in Kirkwood, Missouri. Rain was pouring down and water was building up on the road. Watch what happened when he came to a slight turn in the freeway. The Mercedes-Benz C-Class that was passing him on the right hydroplaned, losing traction and spinning out right in front of him. Vince hit the brakes just in time. The Mercedes crashed into the barrier in front of Vince and parts went flying everywhere. If we play back the video in slow motion, we can see that surprisingly, the Mercedes airbags didn't deploy. Vince stopped to check on the driver of the Mercedes, who was fortunate to be unharmed. Vince's wife stayed in their Model 3 and called 911 while he made his way up the road to warn other drivers, since visibility was poor and the road conditions were unsafe. Tristan was driving his Model 3 in Waynesville, Ohio. He was stopped at a red light when the driver of a red Chevy sedan waited to apply the brakes until he was only about 15 feet away from crashing into Tristan at 50 miles per hour. The Tesla's emergency lane assistance system activated and kept him in his lane. Without that, he would have crossed into the oncoming lane and risked getting hit head on. As Tristan rolled toward the center line, we can see that Autopilot engaged and steered the Tesla to the right. Tristan's hands weren't even on the wheel after the impact. Tristan sustained a minor concussion, but the driver of the Chevy fared worse and was taken away in an ambulance. 
Thankfully, he did survive the crash. The police report indicated that the other driver had been distracted by his cell phone. The damage to the Chevy was extensive, but the damage to the Tesla initially appeared to be only cosmetic. In the end, the repair bill came to 16,000 US dollars. The Chevy driver's insurance provider is picking up the bill, and Tristan has been told that the repairs will take around four months to complete since the body shop is so backed up. Ed was driving his two-week-old Model Y in San Francisco, California, doing about 70 miles per hour on the freeway when this Honda Civic came up behind him. The initial impact caused Ed to spin to the left. Then the vehicles locked together, causing a spin to the right. The Honda then bounced off the center divider and hit Ed again, as we can see in the right camera, causing him to spin back the other way. The front camera shows Ed's perspective, as well as the reason why, if you're going to be in an accident, you want to be driving a Tesla. Notice the minimal body lean and quick recovery, which can be attributed to the low center of gravity, 50-50 weight distribution, and superior stability control response time of an electric drivetrain. Ed says it was the best spin-out scenario he could imagine and that he barely felt the impact, since the Model Y weighs 4,400 pounds, about twice as much as the Civic. Ed got out and asked the Civic driver if he was okay, and he responded by asking Ed if he had changed lanes and hit him, as if the accident had been his fault. It turns out that the driver of the Honda was under the influence, and he ended up being taken away in handcuffs. Hashtag Honda Bump. Ed's insurance company is trying to determine if his Model Y is totaled. Devo was driving his Model 3 in Mississauga, Ontario. Just as he entered an intersection on a green light, he felt an impact. A Jeep driver had taken an exit off of Highway 407 and just kept on driving through a red light, crashing into the Tesla. Diva was uninjured, so he jumped out of his car and rushed over to the driver of the Jeep and asked him, are you okay? The Jeep driver confirmed he was fine and they agreed that they should call emergency services. When they did, the police refused to come to the scene of the accident since nobody was hurt. When Diva got home, he filed an insurance report, including his Tesla cam footage. The other driver accepted full responsibility and his insurance provider agreed to pay for the damage. Unfortunately, here's where Diva's story takes a turn for the worse. Repairs for the Tesla will cost 35,000 US dollars. Since the vehicle is worth more now than it was when it was originally sold, Tesla is asking Diva to cover $8,000 of the repairs out of his own pocket, since the insurance company only wants to pay for the original value of the vehicle. Diva asked his own insurance provider if they'd cover the $8,000, but they refused, calling this deal a personal agreement between him and Tesla. Diva still doesn't understand why he's being held responsible for the difference. Honestly, I'm pretty confused myself. Can anyone explain exactly what's going on here? Let us know in a comment. This video was sent in by someone who was cruising down I-35 on autopilot when an 18-wheeler started overtaking and switching lanes. At first, he believed it was just innocent drifting, but then he braked and took over from autopilot. Justin was driving his one-month-old Model S Plaid in Washington Township, New Jersey. He had his six-month-old son in the back seat and autopilot was engaged. He was driving straight down the road when an oncoming car crossed the double yellow lines and drove into him. Justin immediately checked on his son in the back seat and he was just giggling as if he was having the time of his life. The other driver ended up in someone's front yard on Justin's side of the road. Emergency services were quick to arrive at the scene and officers issued the other driver a ticket for failure to maintain their lane. Justin only sustained a busted lip and some neck pain, but his car was not so lucky. Justin filed an insurance claim and the repair estimate from Tesla came in around 80,000 US dollars. 
In the end, Justin's insurance company deemed the car a total loss. They cut him a check for almost 150,000 US dollars, which included the price of the car and all the extra features like autopilot, as well as his custom wrap. Justin is hoping Elon will see this and give him early access to one of the new colors, deep crimson, abyss blue, or mercury silver for his new plaid Model S. Justin visited his car at the scrapyard where he took this final video of his beloved Tesla. As you can see, he titled the video, She's Totaled. But she also might have saved your son's life, Ooh. Justin. I consider that an absolute win. Thanks for sharing, Justin. It's sad to see that our first submission from a Model S Plaid owner ended up being a crash video. It definitely was intense, but keep watching, because this episode is about to get a whole lot crazier. While taking an impromptu trip to Dallas, Scott had parked his Model Y in a hotel parking lot overnight. That's when his laser had a negative effect in this situation. A man approached the parking lot like he was on a mission. He started pulling door handles to check if there were any unlocked cars. That's when the Tesla laser went off, showing the man that he was being recorded. Apparently this made him furious. He decided to take out his rage on the poor, unsuspecting side view mirror. Police were notified and about an hour later the police reported they had caught the guy as he'd broken into other vehicles and threatened hotel staff. An insurance claim has been filed and Scott is still waiting to hear back about it. Nir was driving his one month old Model Y in Folsom, California. As he approached an intersection, he noticed a Toyota that seemed like it wasn't going to stop. As soon as Nir realized that the Toyota was indeed not going to stop, he tried to speed up and move over, but he couldn't dodge it in time and the Toyota T-boned his Tesla. Thanks to the Tesla's strong build, Nir and his wife weren't injured at all. The Toyota's airbags deployed and it took heavy damage from the impact. The Toyota's front bumper and hood took a lot of damage as we can see in the side cam footage. After the impact, the Toyota's license plate became stuck in the side of the Model Y. Both the responding police officer and the insurance adjuster were impressed with the Tesla cam footage and concluded that the Toyota driver was at fault. It took over two months for repairs to be completed. Can you guess the total repair cost to fix the Model Y? Put your guess in the comments and we'll tell you the total at the end of this video. No cheating. Jeremy and his family had just picked up some pizza and were walking back to their Tesla parked outside when they heard a diesel engine spinning up. The driver of a modified diesel truck had seen the Tesla parked by the side of the street and decided to strike with one of the biggest coal rollings we've ever seen on this channel. Jeremy and his family waited for the dinosaur cloud to dissipate so they could get inside their car. In the end, they got home and enjoyed their delicious pizza, but they couldn't stop wondering. Are these guys still roaming the streets somewhere in their matching outfits and arms hanging out of their windows? John John was driving his Model 3 on his way home in Houston, Texas when he heard a roaring engine noise up ahead. Watch what happened next. The Corvette in the opposite lane slid and hit a tree with such impact that the tree fell over. The force of the hit even pulled the roots out of the ground. John John pulled over to make sure everyone was okay. Miraculously, the driver of the Corvette walked away from the crash. John John couldn't confirm it, but to him it looked like the Corvette driver was racing the Dodge from the stoplight. Unfortunately, his windshield was hit by debris from the Corvette, so he approached the driver to ask him for his insurance information, but the Corvette driver offered to pay for the damage out of his own pocket instead. At first, John John thought that was a little sketchy, but after visiting a Tesla service center and getting a quote for the repairs, he contacted the Corvette driver and he promptly paid the bill. John John took this cell phone video of the Corvette after the wreck. That's quite the impact. They both rolled down their windows at the light and Scott smiled and gave him finger guns pointing forward. The Maserati driver responded, it's on. This time, Scott wasn't going to give away the victory.
after the other driver was crushed off the line, he asked Scott at the next opportunity to roll his window down. The guy was laughing, completely blown away at how fast the Model 3 performance was. Then he said, yeah, but can your car do this? He proceeded to rev his engine a lot and they both had a good laugh. Andrew was driving down the freeway in Lake Forest, California when he saw a silver Jeep abruptly stopping and about to enter his lane. As Andrew started to go around him, a white Jeep rear-ended the silver Jeep, causing it to crash into the side of Andrew's Tesla and pushing him into a lane of faster moving traffic. The driver of a white Honda Odyssey said she wasn't expecting another car to suddenly be in her lane, so she didn't have time to brake before rear-ending the Model Y. There ended up being six vehicles involved in the accident. After the white Jeep rear-ended the silver Jeep, it continued to plow through and rear-ended a BMW. The silver Jeep was also rear-ended a second time by a white Mercedes. The California Highway Patrol arrived on scene to take a report. Andrew is still waiting on the final verdict from the police report and action from his insurance provider, but the officers at the scene did indicate that the driver of the white Jeep will most likely be found to be at fault. Ralph was driving his Model 3 on the Long Island Expressway in New York City when a tire flew off a school bus on the opposite side of the road. The tire bounced over the median and over Ralph's Tesla before smashing into the Honda behind him. In slow motion, we can see how the bus jumped a little when the tire popped off. The tire rolled toward the median, got some hang time, and bounced on top of the median before crashing down behind Ralph. Ralph stopped and rushed over to the driver of the Honda to make sure everyone was okay, and luckily, nobody was hurt. He exchanged phone numbers with the driver of the Honda so he could send them a copy of his Tesla Camp footage for their insurance claim. Orlando was sitting at a red light in Boston, Massachusetts when a BMW M3 came flying through the intersection sideways. Orlando says it was super loud and we've got to say that he held that drift for a long time. He earned a lot of style points with that move. Damon was sitting at a red light in his Model 3 in Grand Prairie, Texas when an SUV on the opposite side of the road suddenly ran the red light and started across the intersection. The SUV was T-boned by another car from the left which sent it tumbling onto its roof before slamming into Damon's Tesla. Damon jumped out and rushed over to the driver of the SUV who was hanging upside down inside the car. Damon asked, are you okay? He responded that he was and Damon helped him out of the car. Once out, the guy asked Damon, did I run that red light? Damon just nodded his head. They checked on the other driver and luckily everyone involved was okay. The police arrived moments later. The officers were happy they could view the Tesla cam video right inside Damon's Tesla. Thanks to the footage, they easily determined who was at fault, which also helped with the resulting insurance claims. Damon was able to drive his Tesla away from the crash site, and he's now waiting for a repair estimate from Tesla. Scott was driving his Tesla Model 3 performance in Scottsdale, Arizona. As he approached a red light, he noticed he was pulling into pole position next to a McLaren 570S. He was hoping that the driver of the McLaren would engage in a drag race, so he looked over at them as they both pulled up to the red light. He almost couldn't believe who was behind the wheel of the McLaren. Scott had his window down and locked eyes with NFL wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald. He got his attention to see if he was interested in a little friendly race, and he agreed. When the light turned green, they both hit the juice pedal. Scott admits that, in the end, he had to let Fitz come back for the win since he's a huge fan. Scott added that Larry has been spotted around town driving a Tesla and he wonders why he took his McLaren out for a spin instead. Perhaps he'll rethink that next time. Aaron was on his way to work one morning in downtown San Diego, California when he overtook a Chevy Silverado that was indicating for a right turn. The street the pickup driver was planning to turn down was actually a one-way street though, so he couldn't turn. Instead, he continued forward and got behind Aaron to turn at the next street. 
At a red light, the pickup driver rolled up alongside Aaron. Initially, he thought that maybe he was an enthusiastic Tesla fan, so he rolled down his window in case the stranger wanted to say something. It turned out that the pickup driver felt that he'd been cut off by Aaron, and he was upset that Aaron had slowed down once he had gotten in front of him. Confused by the accusations and motivated by the strong odor emanating from the man through the open window, Aaron decided to remove himself from the situation. The pickup driver then attempted to aggressively cut him off on the following corner, almost hitting a pedestrian while doing so. After reviewing the footage, Aaron realized that the man may have been under the influence of alcohol as a small liquor bottle fell out of his car when he opened his door. Ashley was driving her Model Y in Spokane Valley, Washington when an Audi in front of her stopped to make a left turn. Ashley stopped in time, but the pickup truck behind her didn't. She felt a massive impact. At the same time, she noticed the Tesla's brake pedal was already pushed to the floor so the car wouldn't hit the one in front of her. The pickup truck had slammed into the back of her Tesla at full speed and the driver didn't appear to apply the brakes at all. Ashley also told us her glove box, normally locked with a pin, opened during the crash. Police and paramedics were quick to arrive at the scene of the accident. Ashley was taken to urgent care and diagnosed with a concussion and whiplash. The police determined that the pickup driver was at fault. Ashley says it was a big pain dealing with the aftermath of the crash. The pickup driver didn't have enough coverage on his insurance policy to cover the damage he'd caused to her Tesla. The Tesla was deemed a total loss, meaning that the cost of repairing it would exceed the value of the car. In Ashley's case, that value was 50,000 US dollars. Eventually, Ashley was able to process a claim with her own insurance provider, and she's already ordered a 2022 Model Y performance. Tristan was driving his Model X on the Garden State Parkway in Cranford, New Jersey, when he noticed cars up ahead swerving to avoid a wrecked car in the leftmost lane. Several of the cars lost control and crashed as they were trying to avoid the accident. As Tristan came closer, he saw that they were actually trying to avoid a woman who had been ejected from the wreck and was lying in the middle of the road. He quickly moved his Tesla to block traffic and protect the woman from getting run over. Tristan activated his hazard lights and started waving at approaching cars to slow down. As soon as he was sure that all cars behind him had stopped, he got out to check on the woman. It turned out she was a nurse. She was conscious and able to speak, but she had both a broken arm and a broken leg. Tristan calmed her by holding her hand while he called 911. In the meantime, the drivers who had lost control while avoiding the wreck started reversing back to the crash site. The driver of the black Lexus was a Union County Sheriff's officer, and he also called in the accident before directing traffic around the crash site. Seconds later, a doctor with a first aid kit stopped and checked on the woman. Tristan kept holding her hand and promised that he wouldn't leave her side. Next, a pickup truck stopped and an off-duty emergency medical technician jumped out and headed to the crash site. He was wearing shorts in the middle of a cold January. This just confirms that medical workers are in fact superheroes. Moments later, first responders arrived. The doctor and the sheriff's officer cleared a path for them to come through.
emergency responders just kept on coming. New Jersey State Police, Cranford Police, Ambulance, Fire Department, even tow trucks. It's crazy to see all these people running around while Tristan stays with the woman the entire time. Tristan found it very lucky for the woman that an EMT, a doctor, and a sheriff's officer all happened to stop within one minute of the accident. Based on her vehicle having a flat tire, he speculates it might have blown out and caused the accident, but he's not sure. The police still haven't determined the cause. The EMT in the black shorts knew the other EMTs who were arriving and even directed the firefighters on what to do. Tristan says he doesn't consider himself a hero. He just did what he hoped someone would do for him if he was ever in a similar situation. We disagree, Tristan. You did a heroic job in stopping traffic and staying with the woman all the way until they put her in the ambulance. Well done. Wham bam, you're a hero, man. Tristan is actually the founder of the New Jersey Tesla Car Club, which has over 1,500 members on Facebook. Another member of the group was stuck in miles of traffic in his Model 3 due to the accident and shared these pictures. This was a very scary accident and it warms our heart that people like Tristan and the others who stopped actually exist. We wish the woman a speedy recovery. James was driving in Dallas, Texas just a few weeks after picking up his brand new Tesla Model 3. He'd been driving eastbound in the middle lane when this F-350 decided to make a left turn right in front of him. This resulted in James T-boning the pickup. The driver of the F-350 told James that she hadn't seen him. She was driving unlicensed and uninsured, two things that law enforcement wrote her tickets for once they showed up to the scene. The Tesla was totaled, but thankfully James had uninsured motorist coverage, so his own insurance covered the accident. Nanita was on her way to a doctor's appointment during morning rush hour traffic. Autopilot was engaged, and as she approached an on-ramp, two cars were merging onto the highway. One of the drivers came off the ramp and immediately tried to merge into the fast lane, crashing straight into Nanita's Tesla. Her Tesla was pushed into the far lane, barely missing a car that had been passing her on the left. The tires and rims on the driver's side made contact with the concrete barrier. Nanita told us Autopilot took over after the impact, keeping the car steady as it got her safely to the side of the highway. The side airbags deployed, but the front airbag did not. After this, the Tesla was disabled and wouldn't allow her to drive. Emergency responders pushed the car out of the road, which damaged the rear bumper cover and hatch. Repairs cost over 21,000 US dollars. At first, she was told the Tesla would be totaled, but then the insurance company changed their mind and went forward with repairing it, which took three months to complete. Brian was driving his Model 3 in Delaware County, Pennsylvania. He was approaching an intersection where the drivers coming from the right had a stop sign. A 2013 Buick LaCrosse driven by a young woman had already stopped at the stop sign, but then she proceeded to make a left directly in front of Brian. Brian attempted to avoid a collision, but he didn't have enough time. He clipped the driver's side quarter panel, spinning her into a telephone pole. Brian's Tesla went up a small hill before hitting a stone pillar. Brian's driver's side airbags deployed, but there were no major injuries to anyone involved, including the other driver. Brian called the police to report the accident. When they arrived, the woman tried blaming Brian for what had happened. She claimed she'd already completed the left turn and that Brian had rear-ended her, causing her to spin out and hit the pole. Brian let the officer on scene view his Tesla cam footage and he immediately determined that the other driver was at fault. Ironically, we can see in the video that there was even a big sign which reads, look left, right, left. Apparently she didn't see it. Abdul was driving his Model Y westbound on I-4 in Orlando, Florida. Autopilot was engaged when all of a sudden, a car moving at 70 miles per hour headed right toward him. Yeah! Autopilot blared an alarm as soon as the car in front of him braked, and Abdul quickly took over and swerved. 
He didn't know which way he should go to escape in this high stakes game of chicken. He swerved to the left to avoid a head-on collision, but the car hit the side of his Tesla, sending it into the barrier before sliding across all four lanes to the other side of the highway. The police arrived about a minute later since they'd already been chasing the wrong way driver after receiving multiple calls about him. The cops had to shut down the highway while the intoxicated wrong way driver was arrested and taken away. Abdul filed an insurance claim and his insurance provider quickly determined his Tesla was a total loss. He's ordered a new one with the same specifications and he's expecting delivery between October 2022 and January 2023. Liu was driving his Model Y in Seattle, Washington. Watch what happened when he came to a stop at a red light. A Mazda CX-5 took a right turn into the middle lane and hit the front tire of a Toyota RAV4. The Toyota was inches away from hitting Liu's Tesla. Liu got out and checked on the drivers. They were both okay, and Liu sent them the Tesla cam footage for their insurance claims. Ezekiel was driving his Model 3 on the freeway outside of Huntington, Oregon. He was driving at around 80 miles per hour when he noticed a police car speeding up behind him. Ezekiel moved over to let the officer fly past him. In the distance, he noticed a car coming straight toward them. The officer lined up to take him down. It was a direct hit, and the car who was speeding the wrong direction down the freeway was neutralized. The officer jumped out of his vehicle, broke the window of the other car, and had the guy in cuffs in a matter of seconds. The official story says that around 2 p.m., emergency dispatchers received a report of a wrong-way driver on the freeway near milepost 342. The reporting party described a silver sedan driving westbound in the eastbound lanes. Oregon State Police Troopers responded to the area in an attempt to locate the driver. Less than five minutes later, the senior trooper spotted the vehicle just before colliding with it. The wrong-way driver sustained minor injuries and was taken to a hospital for treatment and evaluation. He was then booked into the Baker County Jail on charges of second-degree attempted assault, reckless driving, and reckless endangerment. Imagine putting yourself in this kind of danger to stop an individual from hurting others. Wham bam, that trooper is a hero, man. Ken had just turned right out of a parking lot. He'd started to accelerate when a Fiat suddenly turned into him. Ken thinks the driver wanted to turn right at the intersection and she must have thought that turning from the far left lane was a good idea. The folks in the car behind them stopped and they said it looked as if she'd lost control of her car. Eventually, the police were called to the scene of the accident. The Fiat driver admitted fault to the police and said that Ken had been in her blind spot. The Fiat was towed away and was later deemed a total loss. Ken was able to drive his Tesla home and get a repair estimate from the Tesla Repair Center. The repair bill came to, are you sitting down? 25,000 US dollars. This video was sent in from Erland, who was driving his Model 3 home from a Christmas celebration on Christmas Eve last year. Suddenly, he met this guy standing on the corner. Erland says it was a close call and maybe even a Christmas miracle. Tage Paul was driving his Model 3 in Sterling Heights, Michigan. He was sitting at a red light waiting to cross a street with traffic lined up in front of him. Traffic had left a gap in the line for him to cross when it was his turn, so when the light turned green, he started to sneak out to make his way through it. Unfortunately, one car ran a red light and hit him straight on. Tage Paul actually made us an animation to help us understand what had happened. Here he is in the blue car. When the light turned green, the red car came speeding through the red light and hit his Tesla. Police arrived at the scene and wrote a ticket to the other driver. Tage Paul has submitted an insurance claim and is waiting for their verdict. By the looks of it, we're guessing the insurance company will declare the Tesla a total loss. This would be a great salvage find for rich rebuilds. Mike had parked his Model Y on the streets of Chicago one night when Sentry Mode captured this incident.
he got a notification in the Tesla app that his alarm had gone off, but he couldn't check on his car until an hour later. By then, the other driver had left, so Mike called the police and they asked him to come into the station since they don't send officers to investigate hit and run accidents. He told them he had it all on video and they asked if the license plate number was visible. Unfortunately, the car didn't have any license plates on it. After hearing that, they didn't even care to see the video or try to identify the guy. They gave him a report number and his insurance is covering the incident with no questions asked since the video shows it all. The repair bill is estimated to be 6,000 US dollars and that's before they check to see if there's any unseen damage. Mike had a friend of a friend in law enforcement who heard the story and pulled the security footage of nearby businesses and confirmed that the vehicle had no license plates. The vehicle couldn't be followed on footage after it turned down a street with no cameras. Vadim was driving his brand new Tesla Model 3 in Antelope, California. A Honda merged into his lane, so Vadim moved over to the next lane, but so did the Honda. They made contact, sending the Tesla up onto an island, but not before taking out a small tree and kicking up dust in the process. It took Vadim a few minutes to fully comprehend what had happened. His Apple Watch had already detected that he'd been involved in a car accident and called 911. Thankfully, all the airbags had deployed in the Tesla, so Vadim escaped with only a couple of bruises. He walked over to the Honda driver, who was also unharmed, and he told Vadim, I was trying to get out of your way. Police and firefighters arrived at the scene within five minutes of the accident. Vadim says this was his first car accident and he was in a state of shock for 30 minutes. Some people driving by even yelled, you can't park your car there. Since Vadim was in control and Autopilot hadn't been engaged at the time, he doesn't think Autopilot tried anything to avoid the accident. Apparently, the Honda driver didn't think he was at fault at all. Vadim told him to make a police report and he'll send in his Tesla cam footage. Unsurprisingly, the Honda driver was found to be 100% at fault. The report called it a collision while changing lanes and it was determined that the Honda driver had performed a double lane change without waiting for four seconds between them. Vadim's Tesla was later declared a total loss and his insurance provider cut him a check for 71,000 US dollars. He's planning on using it to get a new Tesla. Jalen was driving his Model 3 in Rockford, Illinois. As he approached an intersection, the light turned yellow. This intersection has a rather long yellow light, so Jalen says he knew he had time to make it. The car coming toward him seemed to think he was going to stop and turned in front of him. The Chevrolet hit the side of Jalen's Tesla, which sent it up on a curb where it got some hang time before crashing back down. Jalen managed to regain control, brake, and steer away from the SUV in the lane in front of him. Everyone involved in the accident ended up being okay. Jalen thinks both of them could have avoided this accident, but in the end, it was determined that Jalen had the right of way. The police were quick to arrive, and they both filed their respective insurance claims at the scene. Jalen is working with the insurance companies, but so far it looks like they're going to total the car since it sustained over 40,000 US dollars in damage. Jalen wants us to give a shout out to his friend Felipe, who told him about the Wham Bam channel and encouraged him to send the footage in. Thanks, Felipe. Edward was driving his Model 3 in Las Vegas, Nevada. Watch what happened right in front of him when he was stopped at a red light. He jumped out to check on the driver who had rolled into him. She was injured and in shock, and there was also an injured dog in the cab. She ended up being taken away in an ambulance. Fortunately, the driver of the white Toyota was fine. After saving the Tesla cam footage, Edward shared it with the police and all parties involved in the accident. The police were super impressed and thankful for it. The driver of the car that hit him called several months later to ask for a new copy of the footage. At that time, the investigation into who was at fault hadn't been settled yet. She still believes she was in the right and is suffering physically from the accident and planning to sue the Toyota driver. Her insurance only gave her a few hundred dollars to replace her older Subaru. Edward isn't sure whose insurance paid for his repairs, but they cost 2,500 US dollars and it took a week for him to get his Tesla back. Amy was approaching an intersection when the light turned yellow. Roads were wet and she wasn't sure if she'd be able to stop, so she decided to try to make it through the yellow light. Unfortunately, that was a big mistake. A lady driving a silver Chevy Cruze failed to yield to oncoming traffic, instead following behind another car turning left. Neither Amy nor the Tesla's safety features were able to react in time and she slammed into the front passenger side of the Chevy. 
The impact caused her to hit a pickup truck, making this another three-car accident. We say another because this wasn't Amy's first three-car accident in a Tesla. More on that in a bit. Luckily, both drivers were okay. Unfortunately, Amy's Tesla wasn't so lucky. It was deemed a total loss after receiving a repair estimate of over 35,000 US dollars. Police decided that Amy and the Chevy driver shared equal fault for the accident. They both received a citation, Amy for running a red light and the other driver for failing to yield. According to Amy, she's cursed when it comes to owning a Tesla. Only three months earlier, her first Tesla was totaled in another three-car accident. Unfortunately, she hadn't had her Tesla cam set up, so we don't have any video of it, but her photos tell quite a story. She was rear-ended and pushed into a Hyundai in front of her, making a Tesla sandwich. The guy who hit her just jumped out of the car and ran away, and was never found. Thankfully, Amy wasn't injured, although she admits she was very shaken up. John was driving down the highway with his wife and three kids on the way to the zoo when an accident similar to our first clip occurred. Out of nowhere, a lady driving a Scion came straight at them and smashed into the rear quarter panel. It doesn't even look like she tried to apply the brakes. She later stated that she'd fallen asleep at the wheel. John noticed she had Uber and Lyft stickers on her windshield. He showed his video to responding police officers, to which they replied, well, there's no doubt about who's at fault here. The Scion driver was uninsured, so John filed a claim with his own insurance provider. The Tesla was deemed a total loss due to the battery being ruptured. JJ was backing his Model 3 out of his driveway one regular morning in Austin, Texas. As he made his way down the street, he slowed down to stop at a stop sign just like he does every morning. This time, he hadn't even reached the stop sign before a Toyota came flying around the corner. He tried to swerve out of the way, but the Toyota hit JJ's Tesla head on. When he got out of his Tesla, JJ realized his right arm wasn't okay. After he called 911 to report the accident, the fire department, the police department, and an ambulance all responded to the scene. The paramedics checked JJ's arm and concluded that it was broken. Thankfully, the Toyota's driver and passengers were unharmed. The firefighters used absorbent material to clean up the fluids that were leaking from the Toyota. Since the Tesla doesn't have any gasoline, engine oil, or transmission fluid, there wasn't anything leaking from it for them to clean up. Next, the police officers jumped into action. The Tesla cam footage made it easy for them to determine what had happened, and they gave the other driver two citations, one for reckless driving and the other for driving uninsured. If the cost to repair the damage is worth 75% or more of what the car was worth, it'll be considered totaled. Since the other driver was uninsured, it's now up to JJ's insurance to pay for the repairs or replace the car with a new Tesla. Here's a picture of JJ's arm in a cast. Wham bam, get well soon, man. We're sending you a wham bam hoodie to lift your spirits while you wait for both your arm and your Tesla to get fixed. This clip from Speccio Cycling shows him driving with autopilot engaged when this happened. Autopilot blared warnings and engaged the brakes. We can see that the blue pickup truck up ahead slows down to turn left, and that the following cars weren't ready for that. This really shows the danger of tailgating. When traffic unexpectedly slowed down in the left lane, the SUV was following way too closely behind the Tesla and didn't even try to brake before hitting it. Still, the Tesla seemed to handle the impact fairly well. Matthew was driving in San Antonio, Texas when this drunk driver lost control and veered into his Model 3. The drunk driver claimed that she was cut off by a man with a trailer, but the video shows otherwise. The police officers told Matthew they couldn't determine whose fault it was until after they had seen the Tesla cam video. Rick 
was sitting in traffic in his Model S in Charlotte, North Carolina one morning when he noticed a car speeding in the turn lane. At the same time, the cars in front of him stopped to let a school bus out of a neighborhood street. As the bus turned out, the speeding car clipped the bus. Luckily, no one on the bus was hurt, and the driver of the car wasn't seriously injured. Vic was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged in Springfield, Virginia. Autopilot merged to the left to put Vic in one of the three lanes heading toward I-395 North. Autopilot slowly started to overtake a semi-truck on Vic's left that was driving a little under the speed limit. Right then, the truck driver decided to move over one lane, merging into the lane where Vic was driving. The driver used his turn signal, but Vic didn't notice because the truck was in his blind spot. Unfortunately, Vic was also in the truck driver's blind spot. The truck hit his Tesla and Vic says Autopilot didn't react to avoid the collision, but Autopilot did sound an alarm when the impact occurred, which alerted him to quickly take over and save the car from spinning out. Vic showed his Tesla cam footage to the state trooper that responded to the accident, proving that Vic had been in his own lane the entire time and that the truck had crashed into him. The truck driver was found to be at fault and received a citation. The repair estimate for the Tesla was 9,800 US dollars. Luckily, the Tesla cam footage made the insurance process simple. Vic has been told it'll take up to a month to receive replacement parts due to supply shortages. Pete had stopped at a red light in southeast Austin, Texas in his four-month-old Model 3. Just as the light turned green, he heard the sound of screeching tires before feeling an impact. Apparently, the young woman driving behind him didn't notice the traffic had stopped. She locked up her tires trying to stop and swerved between the two lanes. She managed to hit Pete's Model 3 as well as the car sitting next to him. After clearing the intersection, Pete pulled in front of the wrecked car to make sure everyone was okay. Although the damage to his Tesla only seemed cosmetic, the other driver's insurance totaled the car anyway and paid for a brand new one. In the end, Pete only paid 300 US dollars from his own pocket. We're glad everyone got out of this unarmed. It could have been much worse. This clip submitter was driving her Model 3 behind a small truck on the National Highway in Taiwan when, all of a sudden, this happened. A flying piece of plywood cut a big hole in the front window on the passenger side of the Tesla, but the driver was luckily alone in the car at the time and she escaped without any injuries. She's glad the Tesla's window was strong enough to avoid shattering, but the cabin was still sprayed with dust and small shards of glass. She called the police, who quickly arrived at the scene, and by reviewing the Tesla cam footage, they were able to identify the truck. When they confronted the driver, they learned it was a rental truck, and they suspect that the driver hadn't even tried to secure the cargo. After being questioned by the cops, the driver of the truck was fined for endangering the public. The submitter says it was a shocking experience that started a long process involving lawyers and insurance companies trying to sort out the problem of repairing the damage. She's glad she's okay, and she's grateful for all the people who stopped to help. John was driving his Model 3 in Tampa, Florida. While waiting at a traffic light, he heard a loud crunch. He managed to shift into reverse and back up just before another car's front tire landed on his Tesla. John says this particular intersection is infamous for accidents because it's a popular location for speeding and it's hard to see around the corner. The driver of the red car who had caused the accident had no injuries and walked away from the accident. The woman who'd been hit had a head injury and was taken away in an ambulance. John ended up with a small scratch on the front of his Model 3, but he feels lucky because the damage could have been a lot worse. John waited nearby until the police arrived since he was also involved and had video footage. The police were thankful for the evidence. Marcel was driving home in his Model X one rainy night on the German Autobahn. As he approached a semi-truck, the driver started to merge into his lane. 
Marcel didn't react in time to avoid a collision, so he lost control and crashed into the trailer. Marcel was alone in the car, and he was fortunately uninjured. The truck driver said he didn't think the accident was his fault, and that it was actually Marcel's fault for crashing into him. Police arrived while they continued to argue. The police were able to view the Tesla cam footage inside Marcel's Tesla right there on the highway, and they immediately found the truck driver to be 100% at fault for making an unsafe lane change. Marcel filed an insurance claim with the truck driver's insurance provider, and since the initial repair estimate from Tesla was 60,000 US dollars, the car has been deemed a total loss. This video from Ryan shows a pretty unusual sentry mode event. Ryan says that he usually finds it funny to watch the sentry mode events to see what shenanigans it captures when parked on the streets of LA, but this one takes the cake. This clip submitter was driving his Model 3 in Norway when the Land Rover in the opposite lane suddenly started to hydroplane. The submitter wants to thank the other driver for his efforts to not hit him, as he had his wife and two kids with him. There happened to be another Model 3 right behind the Land Rover, so hopefully he's watching and will share footage from his angle. The first time Ryan Smith's Tesla was vandalized, the Sentry Mode feature hadn't been released yet for his Model 3. This time, the cameras were rolling. Ryan later ran into the gentleman at his apartment complex's clubhouse. The man claimed that Ryan's Tesla took too long to charge, and the no pee that he left on the driver's door was meant to tell Ryan no parking. He was himself driving a plug-in Prius, and didn't realize that Teslas take far longer to charge than his plug-in hybrid. Ryan said, we had multiple talks after, a lot of talks about Teslas. He wants one as his next car. We became pretty cordial, in fact. I'd like to chalk up the way I handled the situation as me growing up and not reacting like I would have in my younger days. The man offered to have Ryan's Tesla detailed. Since Ryan was able to remove all markings, he chose not to press any charges and didn't go any further. In his opinion, the discussion they had was enough to resolve the situation. Norm was driving his Model 3 in Sunrise, Florida when he stopped at a red light. Watch what happened when the light turned green. The driver of a Lincoln thought he had a green light and turned just as a Lexus came speeding through. The Lincoln clipped the back of the Lexus, sending it rolling onto its roof. Luckily, everyone involved in the crash was okay. This video was sent in from a Model X owner in Texas who was involved in an accident. The Tesla driver suffered minor head injuries and the truck driver sustained severe leg injuries. The Tesla cam footage was used in the police and insurance reports. The truck driver was found at fault and had to pay for the damage. This is what's left of Nancy's Model 3 after he was involved in the accident we're about to watch. Get back up, please. All the Tesla's passengers walked away from the accident and the police said they were surprised that the cabin was basically untouched. Yancey was merging to the left lane when his friend in the passenger seat yelled, watch out. He said there wasn't much he could do as they were going about 65 miles per hour. All he could do was slam on the brakes and hold onto the wheel firmly. He closed his eyes and braced for impact. Let's take a closer look at what caused the accident in the first place. The Dodge Charger seemed to have been speeding onto the highway and hit this small concrete separator on his left. In response, he swerved towards the right, hitting the rail and losing control, hurtling towards traffic. The Dodge Charger driver had to be taken to the hospital. 
Yancey had to go through his own insurance since the other driver wasn't covered at the time of the accident. The Tesla was a total loss, and the insurance company told him that there was no way the car was going to be repaired. Yancey added that he plans on buying a new Tesla eventually since it saved his life and those of his friends that night. Frank was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged in Sacramento, California. Autopilot was cruising at 65 miles per hour in the middle lane when a white Prius passed the Tesla on the driver's side. Behind the Prius, a Honda was approaching too fast. It swerved to the left, right into the center divider, and then shot across the freeway directly into Frank's Tesla. Frank says Autopilot and the Tesla's emergency systems kicked in immediately, swiftly preventing the car from losing control and getting him safely to the side of the road. The driver of the Honda was unlicensed and uninsured. In fact, they were already headed to jail the next day on unrelated charges. The CHP arrested him on the spot for reckless driving, reckless endangerment, and, of course, having no license or insurance. Insurance. The next day, Frank's insurance provider reviewed the Tesla cam footage before replacing his car in record time after the body shop informed him the vehicle was totaled with $22,000 US dollars in damage. Frank admits to owning a Honda as a second car. He's convinced that if he'd been driving his Honda that day, he wouldn't have walked away from that crash. He says Tesla Autopilot might have saved his life. This example of instant karma was recorded from the center screen of a Tesla using a cell phone and sent in by an anonymous uploader. Oh, eat shit. Beautiful. <laughs> this next clip comes from Brian Tran, who had been posting videos on Instagram for a while warning about the danger for motorcycles lane splitting when cars didn't pay attention to them. Brian says this is the worst accident he has seen so far. Brian says that the truck driver was completely to blame. He didn't turn on his signal before changing lanes, and if you notice, he actually turns on his right blinker after hitting the motorcyclist. Fortunately, the motorcyclist was able to sit up under his own power, and the truck driver immediately got out of his truck and checked on him. Within minutes, Brian saw a CHP officer speeding down the opposite side of the freeway, where Brian assumes he was racing to the scene of the accident. This video was sent in by Cool Essence. He was driving his Tesla Model 3 in a paid carpool lane when he saw that a Volkswagen started creeping up close in the rearview mirror. After that, he got in front and threw something again. About 10 minutes later, the same VW reappears in the mirror and overtakes on the shoulder only to stop at traffic ahead. Cool Essence called the police and showed them the video on site. The police asked him to send them the videos. He hasn't heard back yet. Steve was driving his Model 3 down a highway in Fort Worth, Texas. It was 2 a.m. and Steve had just gotten off work at his job as a healthcare worker. All of a sudden, he watched a wrong way driver hit the rear axle of a semi truck before careening into him. The impact was so hard that the Tesla cam broke and the video feed cut out at the moment of impact. Miraculously, Steve was unharmed in the accident and was able to crawl out of the Tesla on the passenger side. Police responded to the scene and the driver of the pickup truck was arrested for driving under the influence. Steve's insurance provider declared his Tesla a total loss. Smile, you're on Tesla sentry mode camera. This video from Marius Pop shows someone who seems to know what Tesla Sentry Mode is, and it looks like he's doing his best to activate it. What he doesn't seem to realize is that it's already activated and recording everything he's doing. J.E. was driving his Model S in Hesperia, California. After making a left turn southbound on a two-lane road, this white SUV merged into the opposing lane of traffic rather than getting behind him. 
JE wasn't sure if he didn't realize it was the opposite lane or if he merged here with the intention of overtaking him. As they proceeded down the road and toward a blind corner, a pickup truck was heading toward them northbound. The white SUV noticed the pickup truck ahead of him and rather than slowing down and merging into the southbound lane behind JE, he sped up. He merged in front of JE, nearly hitting both the pickup truck and the Tesla. This Model X owner was driving in Austin, Texas when he witnessed this dog running across I-35 where the speed limit is 70 miles per hour. You can see the dog's owner chasing after him, but unlike his dog, he stops to check for vehicles before crossing. Keith was driving his Model Y in Los Angeles, California when traffic in the lanes to the left had all stopped. He moved over to the right lane to get a clear path. As he approached a traffic light, the light turned green and he started across the intersection. Unfortunately, the stopped vehicles in the left lane blocked his view of a red light runner. A Honda slammed into the driver's side door of the Tesla, spinning it around. The bumper ripped out a signpost and shattered it into pieces. Hilariously, the bumper cover of the Honda that had caused all this mayhem rested calmly next to the wrecked Tesla, but the driver wasn't as calm. The driver of the Honda got out and walked over to Keith, but then he rushed back to his banged up Honda and sped off, making this a hit and run. Even though the Honda driver left his bumper cover at the scene of the crime, there was no license plate on it. The car didn't have license plates at all for that matter. Keith called the police, but they informed him they wouldn't be responding to the scene because he was uninjured and it was only a hit and run. Keith called a tow truck and filed an insurance claim. His car is still in the repair shop. This next video is from Doug, who was driving his Model 3 on the on-ramp to I-95 near the South Carolina and Georgia border in August of 2019. This video really illustrates the danger of driving too slowly. As Doug was about to enter the highway, the car in front of him on the on-ramp slowed almost to a stop, instead of accelerating and merging into traffic. This resulted in the cars behind them pulling out onto the highway in an attempt to go around them. This slowed down everyone on the highway, and the truck pulling a trailer must not have seen the mayhem. It swerved onto the median, causing a total loss of control, followed by a rollover. According to news reports, the highway was shut down for two hours, but fortunately, there were no deaths reported. Marisol was driving her 2020 Model Y Performance one early morning in Visalia, California, when all of a sudden an oncoming vehicle drifted into her lane. All her airbags deployed before she even knew what happened. As she attempted to pull to the right, airbags surrounded her like a Baymax hug. Looking out the window, she saw a tire rolling and thought her own Tesla's tire had ripped off. It actually turned out to be the tire of the vehicle that hit her, a Chevy Malibu. The left camera was hit straight on and stopped working on impact. The driver of the other vehicle took off on foot into some nearby orchards before the police arrived. Police are still investigating and insurance has yet to determine if they'll be repairing her vehicle or writing it off as a total loss. Marisol purchased her Model Y as an early birthday gift for herself. She says it certainly paid off as it may have saved her life. The Tesla cam footage also proved to her insurance and the police who was at fault. Marisol named her car Zeus and took this picture in case this was the last time they saw each other. This video was taken by a parked Model 3 in the California beach town of Coronado and sent in by an anonymous submitter. This clip perfectly explains why you shouldn't text and bike. Fortunately, it looks like she mostly avoided damaging the car, and she didn't appear to be hurt very seriously. In the next clip, we see her dusting off her knees. 
Watch what happened when Sean was driving his Tesla Model 3 with autopilot engaged down a highway in Texas. Sean took over control before crashing into the side of a Ford and being forced off the road. Luckily, he was able to stop before reaching a large ravine in front of him. Apparently, the Ford driver had decided she wanted to make an illegal U-turn on the highway from the right lane, which she proceeded to do without even checking for traffic. When the police showed up, an officer sat in the passenger seat of Sean's Tesla and watched his Tesla cam video before immediately citing the other driver. Sean had to drive back home from Texas to Wisconsin with a gash in his passenger door. The total cost of repairs was $12,000 US dollars. He wanted to shout out Marshall Auto Body in Wisconsin for fixing his car. This video sent in by Mr. Levizel shows a guy giving the Tesla family thumbs up and showing sentry mode that he parked far away so as not to ding this parked Tesla. This clip submitter was driving his Model 3 in Auburn, Washington. Autopilot was engaged when traffic slowed to a stop. A motorcyclist behind him had plenty of time to slow down, but it looks like he panicked instead. He locked up his rear brake, lost control, spun 180 degrees, and crashed on a narrow shoulder. The submitter watched it all in the rearview mirror and took over from autopilot, moving his Tesla forward and to the right as the motorcycle slid toward him. The driver behind him stopped to make sure the motorcyclist was okay. In this section of the highway, the submitter says there's not much of a shoulder to pull onto since Jersey barriers are very close to the road. Keith was driving his Model 3 to work in the HOV lane when traffic suddenly stopped in the lane next to him. A Ford SUV up ahead decided to switch lanes to skip traffic, causing mayhem in the process. The Ford driver tried to merge into the center lane of the highway, but they hit another vehicle that was already traveling in that lane, sending the Ford back over the highway and into Heath's lane. Heath swerved to the left in an attempt to avoid the vehicle, but the loosened bumper smashed into the front of his Tesla and scraped down the side of his car, breaking the side view mirror. The Mercedes traveling behind Heath ended up smashing head on into the SUV. Heath pulled over on the shoulder and called 911. Thankfully, everyone was okay. The vehicle that was in the center lane that had made first contact just kept going, making this a hit and run. Unfortunately, the driver of the Ford SUV that caused the accident was uninsured, so Heath had to open a claim with his own insurance provider. Tesla referred him to a trusted auto body shop, and the current estimate for repairs is $4,400 US dollars. They're booked out for 12 weeks though, so he's getting a quote from another shop. Michael was driving his Model 3 in stop-and-go traffic on the German Autobahn near Munich. Suddenly, the semi-truck behind him ignored the stop part of stop-and-go and smashed into the back of his Tesla. That impact didn't look too bad, but here's where the story takes an interesting turn. Can you guess what it cost to repair the damage from this accident? Leave a comment with your guess and we'll tell you the answer at the end of the video. Here's a hint. There was frame damage, so don't be afraid to use a lot of zeros. Dan had parked his Tesla at the very far end of a parking lot. A stranger in a Mazda reversed over 300 feet while aimed directly at his Tesla before driving off. He was able to get their license plate number from the video and gave it to the police. They looked up the registered address and went straight to the owner's house. Dan got their insurance information and now they'll end up paying for the repairs. In this clip, Master Crawl's sentry mode was activated by a rather busy intruder. Tom had parked his Model Y at an apartment building with secured parking in North Hollywood, California. Watch what happened when this Range Rover backed up next to the Tesla.
Unfortunately, Tom had left his phone in the car, so the car doors were unlocked. Tom believes that the Range Rover slipped through the security gate right after somebody else left. They might have noticed that the Tesla's mirrors were out, a sign that it was left unlocked. They also opened the trunk and went through Tom's belongings. In addition to stealing some things from there, they also stole his new iPhone Max 11. We can see they slammed both the Range Rover's doors into Tom's car and the Tesla's doors into the Range Rover. It's entirely possible that the Range Rover was also stolen. Finally, we see them get back into their car and leave the scene. Hugo was driving his Model S down the highway in Merida, Mexico. A police pickup truck was speeding up behind him with lights on, but without any siren. As traffic started to pile up in front of them, the cop moved over to the left lane behind Hugo. Hugo had nowhere to go since another car was moving into the lane on his right. When Hugo braked for traffic, the police truck rear-ended him. Thankfully, the police officer immediately took responsibility. Hugo thinks the officer might have been checking his blind spot before attempting to overtake him at the moment that Hugo braked. This caused him to hit the rear end of Hugo's Tesla without even attempting to stop. Hugo was devastated when this happened since he'd waited a long time to take delivery of the car and he'd only been behind the wheel for a couple of months. By that, I mean he'd literally only been behind any steering wheel at all for a couple of months. Hugo is only 16 years old. He had his driver's permit, which the police checked very thoroughly. They filed an insurance claim and Hugo is waiting to hear how long the repairs will take and how much they will cost. He's just glad he had video footage to prove what happened. This Model 3 owner was driving in downtown Los Angeles, California when a Honda made a left turn in front of her. She had no chance to stop and crashed right into the Honda. Emergency services were quick to arrive at the scene and an argument about who was at fault ensued. The police reviewed the Tesla cam footage while still at the scene and saw clearly that the Honda driver didn't use their turn signal and had actually made an illegal left turn. There's even a no left turn sign hanging from the traffic light. All the airbags in the Tesla had deployed and it was declared a total loss by the submitter's insurance company. She ended up getting three weeks of medical treatment for her injuries, but thankfully she's now back on her feet. This video was sent in by Rob X, who was driving on a main street when he witnessed this police chase on foot during the pandemic. Don't forget to wear a mask. Rob X says he was mentally repeating the words, don't come near my car, when he saw this. Wesley was driving his Model 3 in Brisbane, Australia. In the United States, some pickup owners like to lift their trucks, but since everything is upside down in Australia, pickup owners there like to lower their trucks and call them utes, short for a utility vehicle. Wesley was pulling up to a red light when he got behind two souped up utes. The one in front of him was so eager for the green light, he busted a burnout. We're not sure if he was trying to impress or intimidate the driver of the Tesla. Then he drove off, even though the light was still red. When the light turned green, his buddy pulled a massive power slide in front of Wesley, who was just enjoying the show. Oh. 
This emitter was headed to a stag party with his friends. They were all excited, but the mood in the car changed rather quickly when an older man in a Renault Kangoo ran a stop sign. The man driving the Renault had been blinded by the sun when he looked to his left, and when he turned his head to the right, he couldn't see the Tesla. Our submitter was driving at 50 miles per hour, so there was no time for him to react. The Renault T-boned the Tesla, spinning it into a traffic sign and sending it flying. Luckily, the submitter and his friends in the Tesla were uninjured. The driver of the Renault was dizzy and shaken up, but our submitter was able to calm him down. The initial repair estimate came in at 30,000 US dollars, but once disassembly had started, it was determined that the car was totaled. The insurance company paid for the full value of a new car, and our submitter ordered a new Model 3, which will be delivered within a few months. His Tesla had previously been customized with a matte black nice. wrap, JR3 wheels, and he'd even replaced the Tesla logo with a Batman emblem. This video from Michael in Germany shows that not everyone is impressed by American steel. Al was driving in Lawrenceville, Georgia when he slowed down for traffic that was stopping at a red light up ahead. The driver of the Ford Focus behind him didn't see the traffic slowing down. The other driver tried to change lanes, but collided with Al's right rear bumper and tire. The driver barely managed to keep his Ford Focus upright. In the Model X, Al says he only felt a small bump. Unfortunately, what he thought was merely superficial damage ended up requiring the replacement of the entire rear subframe, motor, axles, rear air handler, and, of course, the rear bumper cover. The ricochet from the impact also cracked the side chassis frame. Collectively, the damage estimate was more than 50,000 US dollars, and Al's insurance company decided the vehicle was total. It all started when this P-plater, which is the Aussie term for a newly licensed driver since they have a P sticker attached to their vehicle, drove up next to the Tesla and threw something at it. If we slow down the footage, we can see clearly that the object they threw was an ice cream cone, but the submitter didn't know that at the time and thought they might have damaged the car. The submitter took off after the P-plater and the chase was on. They ended up driving dangerously through a shopping center. The submitter says he stopped following them once they ran a red light and he realized his car already had everything recorded on the Tesla cam. When he got out to check the damage, he found out that it was just an ice cream cone they threw. So fortunately, there was no damage to the car. He contacted the police to report the incident and included the Tesla cam footage as evidence, but the police ended up doing nothing about it. This video from Ghanas138 shows his Model 3's sentry mode captured two guys trying to take a selfie with his car. In this video, we see him and his colleague driving a Model Y with full self-driving engaged. Watch what happened just as they left the express lane to head to work. A Toyota pickup truck merged into their lane without checking for traffic, causing Autopilot to swerve the Tesla to avoid being hit. Justin had a separate dash cam recording both in front of and inside the Tesla. Let's listen to what that sounded like and see how they reacted when this happened. He managed to save the spin thanks to the Tesla's low center of gravity and the factory tires that are rated for such a heavy car. Justin and his roommate were driving in uptown Dallas, Texas when a truck ran a red light, T-boning another Model 3 right next to them. 
They stopped to check on everyone. Both the man in the truck and the couple in the Tesla were shaken up, but nobody was seriously injured. This clip submitter was driving his Model 3 with autopilot engaged in Bradford, Ontario, Canada. As he approached a red light, autopilot slowed the Tesla down to stop behind a Chevrolet. That's when he suddenly felt an impact and his car flew into the Chevy in front of him. The driver of a pickup truck behind him didn't slow down, hitting the Tesla from behind at full speed. Luckily, the submitter and his family were unhurt, and so were the occupants of the other vehicles involved. The driver of the pickup truck was charged with careless driving. The total damage to the Tesla led the insurance company to declare it a total loss, and they provided him with the replacement value for a new Tesla Model 3. Corbinian was driving his Model 3 in Bavaria, Germany, when another Model 3 in front of him tried to overtake, but didn't see an oncoming car. The Tesla appeared to launch him back into his lane, saving the big slide. The driver then continued with the overtake he had already started. Nate was driving his Model 3 in Menlo Park, California, when he passed a big rig that was going 60 miles per hour with a flat front right tire. Nate drove past the truck as he took his exit, keeping a close eye on the flat tire in his rearview mirror. When he was well past the truck, the tire shot off and took the same exit that Nate did. The truck tried to keep on trucking, but the driver ended up pulling safely over onto the shoulder. The tire rolled past Nate, bouncing into a fence before it also came to a safe stop. Michael was driving his Tesla down I-664 when someone in front of him hit their brakes super hard. Autopilot was engaged and automatically applied the brakes. Micah took over, swerving the car to the right and onto the shoulder. As he was waiting to merge back onto the highway, all of a sudden he heard a huge bang and witnessed this three-car accident. Micah saved the footage and gave it to the Virginia State Police and the officer was impressed with the footage and informed him that three people had been taken to the hospital, but they were all okay. John and Michelle were driving with autopilot engaged with the speed set to 80 miles per hour on I-80 outside Paxton, Nebraska when they were passed by an SUV in the left lane. Michelle noticed the driver was looking over her right shoulder into her back seat when she veered a bit off the road to the left. When she tried to correct, she lost control and rolled across the median and into oncoming lanes. John and Michelle stopped and ran over to make sure the woman was okay. She had already gotten out of her car and was alert and aware as her dog ran around. They called 911 and waited until emergency services arrived and took over the situation. They informed the police that they had Tesla cam footage of the crash, but the officers weren't interested. John and Michelle hoped the woman and her dog both had a speedy recovery. Taylor was driving his four-week-old Model Y on I-35 in Hickory Creek, Texas, when he passed this black Nissan Frontier pickup truck. Taylor changed lanes to allow lead-footed drivers to pass him in the fast lane. That was when the Nissan swerved into him. Until he reviewed the video, Taylor says he couldn't even explain how the crash happened. Autopilot's traffic-aware cruise control was engaged, but it had no time to evade or alert Taylor to the Nissan in his blind spot. He says he's still in shock. He didn't see it coming. The Nissan driver lied to everyone and said he was just driving along when Taylor spun him out and put him into the wall. Taylor didn't talk to the Nissan driver personally. He was too upset and sat. After the police arrived, he gave them the Tesla cam footage. The officer showed the Nissan driver and he instantly knew he was busted. The other driver was found 100% at fault for his aggressive lane changes and unsafe speed. Taylor's Model Y is being fixed now and the repair estimate is about 4,000 US dollars.
Andy was driving his Model X with autopilot engaged on a highway in North Carolina when he was passed by a Volkswagen Golf. Behind it was a souped up Scion TC. The Scion somehow lost control, resulting in what happened next. This was an accident Autopilot couldn't avoid, but it acted in a way that made Andy thank Autopilot for potentially saving both his life and the life of the Scion driver. Let's see why. When the Scion came out in front of the Tesla, Autopilot engaged the automatic emergency braking just enough so that the Tesla wouldn't T-bone the Scion at highway speed. Instead, the Scion flew past him into the guardrail and bounced back into the back of the Model X. This resulted in a pit maneuver, pushing the Tesla into the guardrail as well. At least it stayed upright. Tesla claimed that they couldn't even get the Model X to roll over during their internal crash testing. This clip goes to show that these cars are basically anchored to the ground. When the dust had settled, both Andy and the other driver walked away from the wreck. First responders were on scene within minutes. From these pictures, we can see that there isn't much left of either car. The Tesla lost both its bumper covers and sustained massive damage to its frame and bodywork. Check out this awesome picture where we can see the North Carolina State Troopers sitting in the Model X and reviewing the Tesla cam footage right on the Tesla's screen. We're betting that video was pretty handy for the accident investigation. Nikki was driving his Model Y south on I-5 in Portland, Oregon. He was driving at 40 miles per hour when he overtook a pickup hauling a camper. Nikki saw that traffic ahead was slowing down, but the pickup driver didn't notice in time and ended up plowing into a car hauler at full speed. Nikki noticed the driver wasn't slowing down, so he quickly swerved to avoid being involved in the collision. Nikki called the police, and both drivers ended up being okay. Gina was driving her Model Y in Atlanta, Georgia. She wasn't using autopilot since she was driving on a bumpy local road with a speed limit of only 25 miles per hour. As she crossed through an intersection, a woman in a Ford F-150 ran a red light, T-boning her Tesla. The entire rear axle broke off as she continued rolling forward. She tried to brake frantically, but the brakes didn't respond. Luckily, she wasn't on a very steep slope, so the Model Y didn't pick up much speed, but she still managed to roll into a parked work truck. The lady in the Ford tried to tell Gina that she had a green light and that it was Gina who ran a red light. Police arrived quickly to the scene and when the officer reviewed the Tesla cam footage, he told Gina, oh you're good, definitely her fault. Gina asked if we could give a shout out to her nine year old nephew Jayus. He's a huge Tesla fan and he's the one who told her to send this video to Wham Bam Tesla Cam. Nice job Jayus. This video submitter was driving his Model 3 in Oregon. He was headed to pick up his wife in Salem, about five minutes north of Eugene. All of the sudden, this Hyundai sporting California plates pulled up next to him. The Hyundai driver proceeded to pull a gun and point it at the Tesla driver. The Tesla driver ignored the Hyundai driver in an attempt to de-escalate the situation. The Hyundai driver started to drive around him, but then merged behind him. He says he never called the police or press charges, but he wanted to share the footage so others are aware of this person. When he noticed that the Hyundai was from California, he thought to himself, ah, that makes sense. Mika and his family had just left the mall and had made it through a yellow light when the drivers in front of them suddenly slammed on their brakes. The Tesla engaged automatic braking and stopped in time before they rear-ended the car ahead of them. Unfortunately, the driver behind them wasn't paying attention and ran the red light. They didn't brake, but they did swerve to the right at the last second before rear-ending the Tesla. Mika called 911 and paramedics checked out his kids and said they were okay. The other driver was very apologetic and admitted fault at the scene. 
The sheriff's deputy who responded just smiled and nodded when he saw the Tesla, saying, let me see the Tesla cam recording. Mika contacted the other driver's insurance provider and discovered she'd already made a claim. The total repair bill came to 15,000 US dollars, and the repair process took two months thanks to parts delays. Chris was driving his Model X northbound on I-95 near Boca Raton, Florida, when he witnessed this bizarre accident. It almost looked like the driver was about to fall out of the window. Fortunately, the driver never hit anything else and was able to move safely to the side of the road. The wheel went flying after the pickup truck hit it, and we can see it bounce off the hood of the car in the inside lane. Troy was driving his brand new Model S in Oxnard, California. As he was taking a left turn, he felt a large impact. Troy says he's grateful for his Tesla's incredible safety features. The airbags appeared to go off before the impact. Everything seemed to happen in a flash to him, and the next thing he knew, the car was full of smoke and his arm felt warm. A driver approaching from the left had blown through their red light and T-boned his Tesla, spinning it 180 degrees before it came to a stop. Troy and his passenger walked away unharmed, as did the driver of the other vehicle. First responders arrived quickly after the accident. The driver who'd hit Troy claimed his light was green. He didn't have his driver's license with him, and his proof of insurance had someone else's name on it. Even after all that, the cops didn't arrest or even cite him. Troy sent his Tesla Camp video to Tesla Insurance, and they immediately agreed he wasn't at fault. They're still deciding if the car will be repaired or if it's totaled. Wait a second, is that a BMW driver using a turn signal? Let's back up and start from the beginning. At this intersection, the left lane is only for turning left, the middle lane is only for going straight, and the right lane can go straight or turn right. As Michael approached the intersection in the right lane to go straight, a BMW from the middle lane, which only goes straight, remember, slowed down and the driver put on their turn signal. The BMW driver then made a right turn from the middle lane, hitting the side of Michael's Tesla Model 3 and spinning it 180 degrees. Michael is an Uber driver. Luckily, he didn't have a passenger at the time of the accident and everyone involved in the crash walked away unharmed. Unfortunately, Michael's Tesla wasn't so lucky. He's still waiting to hear from his insurance provider, but responding officers told him that, based on accidents they've seen before, it'll most likely be totaled. This video was submitted by Matt Swain, who says, nice spoiler. That spoiler sure is massive. Matt used this video as evidence in his insurance claim. Joe was driving his Tesla through thick fog when he suddenly realized he was rapidly approaching flashing lights. He hit the brakes, but nothing happened. The road was covered in ice. He quickly decided to go off-road into the median in an attempt to avoid hitting the vehicles that were blocking the entire highway. He braced for impact, and after coming to a stop, he was relieved that he was safe and the car was okay. At least, that's what he thought. Exactly one minute later, a truck driver made the same decision to go off-road, T-boning Joe's Tesla on the passenger side. A total of 18 cars and 12 semi-trucks were involved in the crash on I-90 that morning. The Washington State Patrol said that freezing fog was the main contributor to the 30-vehicle pileup. Three people were transported to local hospitals, but thankfully, all injuries were reportedly minor. Joe was totally unharmed, but very shaken up, which is understandable. The state patrol later posted these aerial photos from the accident scene, and in one of them, we can actually spot Joe's Tesla. The Tesla was towed to a junkyard since the initial report stated it would probably be declared a total loss by the insurance company. Joe filed a claim with the driver of the pickup truck who'd hit him. 
The insurance company is waiting for the state patrol to complete their investigation as there is one person who has been cited for going too fast for conditions and they consider that person responsible for the entire incident. After seeing pictures of the aftermath, it's definitely a miracle nobody was seriously injured in this massive accident. Wham! Bam! We got a Patreon man! Please support the show!